what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Vile Files. I'm your host, Nick, and I'm very excited about this episode. I'm not really sure what direction it's going to go. Probably We're excited. Probably oh. up, down, left, right, yeah. all the way around. Forward. I have the very charming and wonderful ladies from Call Her Daddy. Very hit new podcast <laughs> out. Um, so when you're done listening to this, go check it out. I think they also drop on Wednesdays if I'm... We do. Yep. Wednesdays. Yeah. I feel yeah. like maybe this is like a risky episode. Don't be so awesome. We will. Oh, take all your listeners. <laughs> steal them all away. Um, come on, girls. Come with us. Yeah. We have Alex. We have Sophia. Uh, hello. I, uh, these uh, wonderful ladies are here today. A um, bit of a butterfly effect. I... Uh, Connected with Alex on the internet once. Okay, what does that mean, Nick? That sounded very <laughs> whoa. We connected. We connected, on, we connected on LinkedIn. It was a great <laughs> moment yeah. for us. I was <laughs> like, "Do you want to have coffee? I want to talk about podcasting." Uh, we we whoa. we met on a, on a dating app. Yeah, we met on Raya, and then this is actually our first time meeting. We first never, time like, meeting in person. Met. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think I messaged you first. Yep. It was something really benign, like, "Hey, if you're ever in LA." Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm Let like, know. probably never see you, but this right. is cute. Actually, you were like, oh, if my memory serves. Uh-oh. Should I pull it up? I don't even Uh-oh. remember. Uh, well, you were just like, oh, I sometimes come to LA. I'll definitely let you oh, know. Oh, okay. It yeah. was totally like, totally right. nothing right. really right, right, special right. about the yeah. conversation. Except uh-huh. then all of a sudden, for some reason, you got a little chatty. I did? You were funny. It's a compliment. <laughs> you were like, I don't know. You were, because usually when people are bantering back and forth, it's like, Hey, hi. Right. Uh-huh. How, what do you, nothing. Yeah, really. I think a lot of times when I, if I'm going to talk to a guy over a dating app, like I like to be really funny. You, you, you let were your definitely, humor shine. Yeah. You were definitely, I got the impression, trying to fuck with me and oh. seeing if I could hang. Is yeah, the impression I, I, got. I think that I always say like sarcasm is my love language. I yeah. think like if a guy can't get my humor, then I don't, like, don't have time for it. So, so I, I felt like just, we were rifting pretty good. Yeah. And then I went to, uh, New York. Oh, and yeah. And I messaged you. I'm like, hey, I'm in New York. You should get together. And oh, I remember And that, she actually. was like, I'm podcasting. And I was like, okay. And then, yeah. and then we just forgot about each other. Yeah. Right. It never lives. happened. And it never happened. But now. And then I was doing this podcast. Um, and then I got some uh, DMs from fans who listen to the show and said, I should have these two young ladies on my show. And immediately at the time, I didn't know I was call her daddy. And no, with podcasting, you know, you kind of see what other podcasts are out there and see who's kicking ass. And you guys are always up there in the ratings and the rankings. And I was like, ah, who are these girls? And then I kind of looked in and I was like, oh shit. That's crazy. That's so funny. Um, This is the girl I matched with on Rye who I thought was like at least a cool... Mm-hmm. communicator oh, on a dating you. app. Wow. Yeah, when you messaged me, you're like, I have so many people asking for Call Her Daddy to come on. And then I just looked and it's you. I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. So, But that made it easy to connect and for us to come on. Because so, so here we are. Here we are. Um, I thought this would be a fun episode. I get a lot of questions uh, about fuck boys mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. players. Mm. And I thought you two, who could be better at talking oh. about fuckboys and players than, than you two? Right. You've you've talked about it in your show. It's a very funny episode. Yeah. Yeah. We actually What did you guys call that episode? It's, it's called finessing, finessing a fuck boy or fuck girl, because fuck girls yeah. are out there too. Also, it was almost like you guys are like fuck boy whisperers. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's, that's a good I way like to put that. it. Right? Yeah. That's I like that a lot. Way. You know? Yeah. Um, how'd you guys meet? Oh, it's a really interesting story. It is. It's like so, so interesting is worthy of a podcast. We could, yeah. I mean, it's uh, we can tell like uh, well, we can do it quickly, quickly through a random person that we kind of both uh-huh. didn't meet. She met this girl in an Uber pool, and I met her because I was subleasing in her apartment for two months. And I was like, "Do you know anyone that would want to go in an, an apartment with me?" And she was like, "I know this girl I met randomly in an Uber that I've kind of connected with." Still, she uh-huh. introduced the two of us, and we the day we met, we signed a lease together, went out and got drunk together. And then we were like best friends ever since. Yeah. So you guys lived together. So we lived right. together. The day we met, we signed a lease. Yeah. And then we became best friends first and roommates first. And mm-hmm. then we started the podcast randomly together. Yeah. So at what point are you like, we should totally podcast? Um, we actually were going to start a YouTube channel. Just, yeah. It was a random idea. I went to like film and television yeah. school. So I was like, always wanted to start a YouTube yeah. channel okay. like that. And yeah. Sophia and I like have good chemistry. And right. then we thought that it was going to be too intense, like too hard of work to, to do, do video. because she, we both had nine to fives and we're mm-hmm. like, why don't we just do a, just podcast, do a podcast, try it out. I mean, you guys are very entertaining. You currently have like, uh, I don't want to call it a shtick, but like you yeah. have like. 
this thing you do. And it's funny. And you're, you have this very, it sounds like you guys take a very honest approach to dating and advice you very. give to women or just talk. I mean, you yeah. give it, yeah. is it tailored to women or is it, cause a lot of guys listen to your episode yeah. right. too. I think not at all. I think it's really for men and women equally. Yeah. We like to kind of play both sides. I think that's part of the reason why so, it works. At yeah. what point did you guys, was this organically? Cause you guys have a, I mean, it, it works well. Huh? I mean, how did you guys decide? Were you guys t getting drunk at bars and talking about yeah. this kind of, these the topics? Yeah, the first, yeah. the way it kind of started was we went down to South by Southwest Film Festival okay. and we were with all these guys and Sophia and I just started talking like we do on the podcast, like really open and uh -huh. talking about guys and girls and dating and sex. And um, they're slowly just all these guys started to kind of like come around us. And after like 40 minutes, no guy touched their phone and they were all just listening to us. Right. And then afterwards, a couple guys were like, do you guys have a show? We're like, uh, no, like she works mm -hmm. a finance job. I work for a magazine. And then they were like, you guys need a show. I would watch this every day. So that's where it kind of sparked. We were like our shtick. We were like, maybe we should put this into some type of show yeah. form. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, it never was meant to be a sex podcast. No. People find that like really crazy. <laughs> no. Um, it's just, that's what it ended up kind of. Because that's like what so our life is, is right yeah. now. It's like sex life, and. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> our life is fucking right no. now. So yeah. why should we not? I don't, and, and do sex I, I don't yeah. want to say it's a sex podcast, but we talk about sex no, I think quite we, a bit. You know, I mean, yeah. we do here too. I wouldn't call it a sex podcast, but mm -hmm. I mean, I th listen, I like that. I, I think in general, I'm a big believer in what I like about uh, your lady's show is that um, we don't talk about sex enough. Yep, right. Um, we we are we kind of still have that Puritan kind of culture in society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we talked about this on a past episode. Uh, it was a little different theme, but uh, when the whole Me Too movement came out, and especially the Aziz Ansari story. The, one of the bigger takeaways is just how much of a disconnect there is still between men and women and sex, yep. right? Yes. Yep. Um, that we're just, women are talking to other women and they'll like get in their little groups and joke around and guys will do their shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But men and women aren't communicating where a lot of guys will be like, really? Well, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. you do that too. You should do it more. It's enlightening yeah. to hear. Yeah. And I, I'm not surprised that guys are like getting notes from, yeah. from women who are ta openly talking about what they like or what they don't like. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, a lot of people, I would just argue, ask questions with the people you're dating, but a lot of people are just very uncomfortable about sex and talking about it. Yeah, yeah. They So still I, are. I, you guys are doing that. We try to do a little bit of, of that on this show, but that's, you guys have definitely yeah. leaned mm -hmm. into it. Well, I think also like there are so many guys that would be, embarrassed almost to ask their guy friends specific questions about sex. Right. And so to have two girls like us, they're like, this is exactly what I want you to do when you're going to go finger me. They're not going to be like, hey, like, Matt, what do you do when you right. go down on a girl? And it's kind of yeah, awkward. Then, well, yeah, but not that. Because what guys will do is guys are always like, Exaggerating when talking to my buddies, like, yeah, bro, I, she was oh, totally. Yeah. No. Right. Well, yeah. and it's she like she faked every orgasm yeah. that did not happen. Sorry. I mean, like, why don't guys, why do you think? more guys don't ask girls they're dating or that they're hooking up with, what do you like? Or I, I think what are you into? I think because they're raised to just know what they're doing and be good yeah. at it and be macho. And, yeah, like the ego thing. Right, it's like you should know what you're you doing. Know. Yeah. yeah. And it's and like then, there's porn. It's like, no, right, porn doesn't yeah, teach and then you. These no. guys are watching porn and they're doing these ridiculous <laughs> things and that they're girls trying. hate. Yeah. So yeah, it's totally. like, yeah. yeah. Porn is, if you, we talked about this in the past. If you are... <laughs> Doing if you're if you're performing in bed, how you watch porn? No, then no. She will you're doing maybe it pretend wrong. to have a good yeah. time and right. then talk about you to her friends yeah, in absolutely. a not very positive way. Is absolutely. my guess. Yes. Definitely. I also think another thing we talk about is um, I think a lot of girls are really afraid to talk about sex with guys for fear of being like slut shamed or it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. you're such a yeah. slut. When really our tactic is, Sophia and I are so open about talking about sex with guys we're dating and we find it makes them way more open. A liberating? Yeah, yeah, like they like it. Yeah. So have you found that to be the reaction? Like yeah. you haven't, the fact that you guys openly talk about your sex lives. Yeah, yeah. And just because, just by default, because you're talking about it on a regular basis, even if you aren't promiscuous, right. they almost mm -hmm. could come across yeah. as- Yeah, absolutely. Do you find that you've gotten more support rather than criticism I or does it come so. both ways? I think we have yeah. gotten more support, honestly, for the most part, which I found surprising. Yeah, we were really surprised because we knew we could get the whole like slut and whore uh -huh. and 
it's all these people, more women are like, oh my God, thank God. These girls are teaching us and talking about like how to give a good blow job because like a lot of girls are giving really whack ass head. (laughs) Trash head. Yeah, trash trash head head, as I say. But then, and then there are guys that we always talk about and no offense to guys, but- they're doing like the jackhammer when they're fingering right. you and it's like my vagina hurts. Uh-huh. So making it more normalized. Well, I, I learned, I, oh. I talked about, no, I talked about this on an earlier episode. I, thank God I had a high school friend. Okay. Who I was dating and I, I've already, I was dating a girl uh-huh. and you know, you don't know what the fuck you're doing no, in right. high school. Of so course. you're literally, yes, jackhammering. Yes, jackhammering. For yeah. 45 minutes, she's you get like, done. You're, you're like, she's going to love I'm this. I'm the man. She's like, you know, ow, like, ow, ow, ow. Um, <laughs> and thank God in like gym class, one of her friends pulled me aside in a very cool way. was just like, hey, she doesn't like that. Oh, oh my God. And I was like, really? Gym class? Where is this girl? She I know. needs to wow. come and call yeah, her daddy. And, and I remember like she did it in a way she didn't, wasn't trying to embarrass me. But yeah. was, And I was like... I was like, great. Well, what do you do? Yeah. Turns out right. the right way is a lot easier. It's yeah. A, there you go. You're like a breaking a sweat down there. Training. Minimal effort. <laughs> yeah. Really? It's just all time. But I think the girls, so when funny. the reason girls don't tell guys, sometimes they're afraid to tell them they're not doing it right is because guys' egos, they're like, oh my gosh, then they're never going to yeah. be able to get out of their head and perform correctly again. Like guys overthink it and get nervous. Do you find that to be true though? Because we've had other conversations where, because men can, men can be dicks and they are often defensive because yeah. we- d- Men do have egos. Yeah. And so God forbid a uh, uh, a guy who thinks he's the man right. is told, um, have you ever had a bad experience with a guy because you're so open right. to say so to no, get defensive yeah. and, and be almost aggro. I think you and I talk about it's a, the way you approach it. It's not like you're not making me come. No. Yeah. You're like, babe, if you do this, it's For gonna sure. feel well, so good. I, I actually think a lot of men like to hear a girl say, this feels so good. Can you please do this? Yeah. I think it's almost yeah. can be a oh, turn delivery, on. Yeah. yeah, but don't be like, you're not making me right. orgasm. What are you yeah. doing? Oh, that. So- then yeah. the next time he goes down on you, he's going to be freaking out yeah. and sweating and all nervous. I mean, Nick, do you like if a girl tells you kind of, this is what I like, I this pers- feels good? Yes. I mean, and I relate it back to that experience where I'm always, I'm a naturally curious person. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I remember when she told me at first, my reaction was to be, embarrassed and mortified. I, yeah. I felt bad. I was mm-hmm. like, well, shit, we've been doing this for like four or five times. Yeah. And so basically I'm hearing that. <laughs> I thought like, I was shit. great. Turns out she hated it. <laughs> right. Um, I just never wanted that, that to be to with someone again. to right. experience that. And then I realized that, you know, once I was taught the right way, it was right. a easier, <laughs> definitely enjoyed it. So that immediately gave me a lot of comfort going right. forward at such an early age to, to after I was dating someone or even like, I'm pretty open. So even if like, it's the first time I have no problem being like, well, I mean, yeah. what do you, yeah. absolutely. what do you like? Right. You yeah. know, uh, you find as you get older that, you know, there's a, a buffet, buffet of options that <laughs> works with pretty much the general group. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah, and then, and then in between there, you tweak things absolutely. based off of preferences. For sure. Absolutely. Um, but it was that, <laughs> it was that uh, comfort level that I got at an early age. But, and so I've almost been very into that where I'm very okay. like communicative. Well, I, it, it doesn't seem like a lot of guys uh, are still are. And I, yeah. you know, I always try to get to the root of like, how can we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's helpful to have yeah. women yeah. like you out there being so open. Time for Nick to sell you things you really need, but you don't own yet. I downloaded this app called Noom. Have you heard of that? I have. And um, basically they are a full support system to losing weight. And they help you break the psychology because what I do, I lose weight and then I gain it back and I lose it and gain it back. Mm. So they are like helping. like a lot of people do it. Right? Yeah. So they're helping me understand why I do that and why I keep going back to these bad habits. So so it's a, basically an interactive online convenience support system. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. And you can record um, all the food that you eat your steps and so it's all there on your app and you're supposed to spend about 10 minutes a day which is not a lot of time and track your progress i love this different results call for a different approach learn don't diet it's true i know a lot of people don't like the whole like phrase like it's not a diet it's a lifestyle but it's true and i'm yeah. sorry it sounds like if that sounds condescending when people say that right yeah but it's also true if you are dieting you will have the fluctuation exactly in weight because it will all be diet like 
the word diet suggests temporary. Right. Yes. Right? That's, if that's your mindset, you're just going to go back. It's got to be permanent. Well, I am sold on Noom. Noom is designed for results, and that's what this is all about. It's out with the old habits, in with the new. So sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash vial. What do you have to lose? Question mark. Nothing. Answer. Uh, visit noom.com slash vial to start your trial today. That's true. What do you have to lose? Well, a lot. Pounds. Hopefully a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, that's noom.com slash vial. Start losing weight for good. Not for temporary. Forever. Yeah, forever. Um, um. Nutrition. <laughs> Tell us about home nutrition, Rochelle. Well, this is what we talked about last time. We wanted to be beautiful from the inside out. Well, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I know I should want to, but I also look and look, like looking sexy. Right. I want to look beautiful without makeup on. Do you know what I mean? That's what you like. I what did you, you say earlier? It's accidentally it's like, sexy. Accidentally sexy. I want to try and be accidentally sexy. So I went to Hum. You take a three-minute quiz. That's all it takes. And then a registered dietitian gives you things that you should take. That's great. I you know. know what I love? Hair and I love gummies. Yeah. This is hair vitamins. Hair sweet like hair. in gummy form. I feel like my hair does look different. Uh, it looks great. I haven't paid attention to it, but I, your hair <laughs> is... so mean. Your hair is... Uh, I do feel like it's looking different. It's... it's, uh, it's also, everyone in this office has been eating my Glow Sweet Glow gummies because they taste really good. They're orange flavored. What are those doing for you, Rochelle? They hydrate your skin. All you have to do is eat a gummy and your skin's hydrated. Hum Nutrition is all about making you look and feel your best. Each specific supplement pack, a combo of potent ingredients designed for specific aims like clearer skin, mm -hmm. boosted energy, flatter stomachs, or fuller hair, and backed by clinical results. Not sure what you need? No problem. Take a quiz to get your personalized Rex plus 20% off with code VIAL, V-I-A-L-L, -L, plus save even more with their convenient, flexible, and money-saving monthly plans. Go to humnutrition.com slash get underscore started and use code VIAL, V-I-A-L-L, -L, for 20% off. Go to humnutrition.com slash get underscore started and use code V-I-A-L-L -L for 20% off. Now go by the stars. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. What's most interesting about your, your story and starting it is you guys decided to do this without really knowing what the response would be. Yeah. Right. 100%. Yeah. We had no clue. It's like, yeah. we're going to go do this. Yeah. We're Hoping for the best, preparing right. for the worst. You know, we kind like, of roasted. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. You know? I mean, we just started it being totally authentic, talking about what we talk about on a day-to-day -day basis, and it yeah. just hit, and it just worked. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, let's uh, let's get into this whole fuckboy player thing. It's yeah. interesting. I, I'm a little older. I feel like fuckboy, the terminology is relatively new term. I feel like back in the day it was always player. Oh, he's right, a player. Yeah. yeah. I personally think there's a difference. Okay. I was listening to your podcast. It seemed like you, you guys did. It's like that's fuck, the fuck boy is the new player. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think there's, uh, there's still players and there's still fuck boys. Oh, can you explain that? Yeah. I would say if you, and this is just my humble opinion, okay. that a player would be a guy who deliberately uh, lies mm -hmm. or is dishonest about his feelings towards someone and then we'll like actively date and lead people on about the relationship status just to get some, to get laid. Okay. And he may even do this with multiple women. Mm. I would argue that if, and then the, and then there's maybe one or two of these women who, when they talk to their friends are like, you know, I've been dating this guy and things are going really well and really excited about it. And meanwhile, he's just like, this yeah, this girl I'm banging, you know, yeah. whatever. Yep. Uh, but when he talks to her, he's saying things like he's talking about the future. He's leading her on. Yep. He's maybe even introducing him to friends Got and it. family. And he's being the boyfriend we're in together. And then he's kind of a shit, you know, he'll, he'll always be like, well, babe, I'm not, I don't want to settle down. He won't go that far, right. but he's definitely leading her on. To me, that's a player. Okay. okay. And a fuck boy is a guy who's like, I mean, no, I don't want to date. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. he's like really open about the fact that. Right. You know, he and a fuckboy I think can be manipulative too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But 
they are a little bit more direct yeah. or open about the fact that they don't want to date yeah. and they don't, they will never introduce you to their friends mm-hmm. or family. That would be my interpretation yeah. of it. We actually say that if a guy is going to be upfront with you in the beginning and say, I don't think this is going to turn into anything serious, et cetera, that is not a fuck boy. That's not a yeah. fuck boy. That's See, a I think boy. a lot of girls, like if if he's up front and he's like, this is just and casual. he's telling you how it is. That's just a girl's issue when she goes to her friends. She's like, he has sex with so many girls. And, it's like, well, right. you caught feelings. That's your or issue. So what is he? Is like, this a guy who likes to fuck? Him. I think that uh, maybe it's because of the age different, but for like, I think college it's transformed from the player is now kind of the fuck boy. Okay. Like that's mm-hmm. how I see it. I get it's what you're saying. Day. Um, day. But I do boy. think there are like two types of fuck boys. Mm-hmm. I think the first type is the kind that is like a fuck boy to the core. Right. And it's a part of his personality. What where do you mean it's by like, that? Like he- Like he will be 70 years old <laughs> in the nursing home. And, still, like, and he's like, let's go Betty. Um, yeah. And then the other part is he's going through a phase. He got out of a relationship right. or he's just like trying something out and he- he just found out this new move and he's really into having sex with girls. Yeah. And for the next couple of months, like John is the biggest fuck boy. Mm-hmm. And then a couple months later, maybe he has a relationship. Yeah. But every single girl is hoping that it's just him going through a phase. Yeah, it's a I, fuck did, boy uh, phase. I did a live show last week. Um, I don't know when this is dropping, but I did a live show with my friend and it, okay. we were talking, it just kind of loosely came up. And the entire audience of women basically admitted that when a guy, because I'm just like, hey, listen, when a guy tells you that he's not looking for a relationship and he just wants to have sex, believe him. Right, right. Like, stop not yeah. thinking he's not Ugh. telling you the every, truth. Every, and every girl was basically like, I can change him. I can change him. him. Oh my and, God. Then, and then there's always one or two girls in the audience who are like, well, that's how I'm dating my fiance. Right. Well, congratulations. Yeah. You're the exception, but you're yeah. fucking up everyone else's <laughs> like. But seriously, yeah. girls look at a guy and they see like hearts when he's like, I don't want a relationship. They're like, I'm going to change it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we talk about a lot on our podcast is there's so many girls. Listen, we don't think it's the healthy advice to teach you how to trap a fuck boy. Yeah. But if you want to do it, we're giving you the advice of yeah. how to do it. The blueprint to trapping one. Yeah, that is a- uh, <laughs> Sick and manipulative and it's beautiful. And, yeah. and it's not- Whisper necess- the fuck Right, yeah. it's yeah. not necessarily healthy like Alex yeah. said, but- Everyone loves the chase. Yeah, Everyone likes I mean, it. We have this motto where it's, every man is a fuck boy until he proves otherwise. So the yeah. girls going okay. in, <laughs> the girls going in being like- Oh, I can change him. No, no, no. no, no you're no. already doing it wrong, yep. sweetie. Well, that's what I I would ag- I totally agree with you. Mm-hmm. And and I never said it like this, but I've like, yeah, every guy uh is yeah, I guess the yeah. fuck boy yeah. until he meets the one that makes him not want to be the fuck boy. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's just it's just luck or like kismic yeah. happening. Yeah. And maybe, yes, maybe once in a while, some girl can like yeah. uh-huh. grind him down mm-hmm. and whisper the fuck boy yeah. and make him the one. But generally speaking, I mean, sometimes I will wonder, am I a fuck boy? Right. Yeah. In a sense. Well, that you like, are. Just kidding. <laughs> you are. You're the biggest fuck boy <laughs> you are in Bachelor Nation. You prove otherwise. <laughs> uh, well, no, like, listen, in my dating life, I, I'm older. And so I like- when I was younger, I would meet a girl mm-hmm. and if we hit it off and like went on a few dates and I was like, I don't know, I'm really, oh, I'm Whoa. catching feelings. <laughs> and oh. This is great. I'm like, I think, I feel I like we I should like date. Oh I don't know. God. Like, do you want to, you know, I'm, I'm in the relationship and now yeah. I've had a handful of serious relationships you know, breaks up. I've broken up with some, some, and at this mm-hmm. point, you know, it's a little bit more pragmatic and more practical, maybe even cynical where unless I'm like, this is my person or I really see a chance, like I'm not going to like get into a relationship. For and sure. usually I, I will go on dates though and I'll keep dating. Mm-hmm. And if there's physical chemistry. Absolutely. Hey, Absolutely. you know, yeah. and then when, and then if a girl's like, and I'm pretty upfront about like, I don't, like I, yeah, I'm not looking for anything. Yeah. Too I, I don't, I don't say that because I am, I very much would like okay. to meet someone, but I just don't, uh, I, I do not exaggerate ever my feelings, okay. especially like yeah. say we hook up in the earlier in the dating process. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think that, no, and I so think like, that's does smart. that make me a fuck boy? No. Just because no, I'm- No, because you're being honest. No, you're ha- even if you're having a lot of sex, you're saying that you're not leading them on in any way. You're yeah. not being like, this to me could be it for me. Like I really am feeling this for mm-hmm. us. No, you're just being honest. You're dating and you're yeah. being open about- What about, what, what about guys honest with the girl? It's like, hey, listen, um, let's say, you know, I'm, I'm older, you're younger, like, 
you know, you're, you're not, let's be honest, you're not looking to have kids anytime soon. And when mm -hmm. I meet the person I want to be with, like, I would like to like have kids be somewhere in the like next five years ballpark yeah. as opposed to like, listen, buddy, I'm not having kids for 10 years. Great. No problem. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so that's kind of like, I will sometimes I've had said that before. And so then you keep hanging out, Yeah. you know, but you're like, Hey, listen, if you want to keep hanging out, I, I think you're great. Yeah. And we'll, and what if I, or a guy gets the impression, she says she's cool with this. Okay. But I, I but actually, I think she's catching feelings. And I think she thinks that what a lot of, I've learned women out there are, I'll. He'll, he'll eventually change his mind. He'll change his mind. Yeah. See, that's like Who's Rebecca's that fault down the street. That's her fault. That's, that's her because fault. Because you're totally so. That's her fault. What if, what if the guy senses. No. You've okay. been honest with her and that's Great. her fault. She's catching yeah, feelings. That's I what agree. we try to explain to girls. It's like, there's a difference. That's why so many girls are using the term, the loosely using fuck boy too much. It's like, mm -hmm. you're not a fuck boy. You're being open and yeah. honest and you yeah. may enjoy having sex with her, but if she's yeah. going to start catching feelings, you've made it clear yeah. that you're not interested I mean, girl, in going there. Girls will be like, I mean, a guy just won't be into a girl and they're automatically a fuck boy. No, no, like, that's not what no. fuck boy I do. Is. I, I noticed that, but right? Sometimes, like, sometimes yeah. like, he doesn't that. like me. Fuck boy. No, yeah, fuck boy like, is someone no. that uses manipulation tactics mm -hmm. to finesse getting and having sex. And they with lie you. to your face essentially. Yeah. They're like, I really, really like you. Yeah. And then you don't hear from them for four days. All right. Well, let's get into what a fuck boy is. <laughs> okay. I, let's identify these fuck boys so we can have yeah. our audience okay. try to Ladies. steer clear. And so, then if you do want to, but we're going to take a quick break. Okay. okay. We're going to sell some stuff. Oh, let's yes. we'll sell it. Uh, and then we'll be right back. Okay. Cool. My audience knows Natural Habits is my essential oil company. Uh, we are a certified USD organic uh, essential oil company that specializes in blends. You two, you've used a little bit of essential yeah, oils. You don't. Absolutely. I asked you guys if you guys use candles. You're like, yeah, this is a great. I'm like, of course. Did you know that candles are a slow death? Can you explain that to me? I'm a little scared. Well, what do you think goes into candles? I don't no, know. Wax. Wax. <laughs> Your wax. Um, well, candles are full of like chemicals like uh, paraffin and then they put like uh, alcohol and perfumes to make them smell good and yeah. burn longer and last longer. And then you're setting it on fire. Okay. And then you you're know, breathing that into the air. In hindsight, I could see. Yeah. How can I once fell as, I once fell asleep in college with three candles burning. Oh. And then yeah. I woke up. Thank God, not to mention the fire hazard that is a Wait, candle. Yeah, <laughs> you're alive. We're good. We're good. Okay. But I'm here. Okay. okay. Thank God. But I did wake up. I went to the bathroom and I had black soot in my face all the way up oh. to my nose because it was so it was just, it was right next to my face. But that ultimately is what candles are. Have you ever heard of canary in a coal mine? No. no. Back in the day, coal miners would take canaries in little cages because canaries' respiratory systems are so sensitive. And so if the canary would die in the coal mine, the miners would know it's time to get out. Oh, okay. Right. They would, unfortunately, the, the bird would be the sacrificial wow. lamb, no pun intended. The, oh, my God. Um, and canaries and birds have similar adverse reactions to candles. Wow. Wow. So next time you're burning a candle, just remember I'm about to you are throw. breathing toxic chemicals into your lungs. Yeah. Wow. And slowly killing yourself. Essential oils, however, where you can diffuse them in a diffuser, they actually have health benefits to birds and humans. And so instead of not dying, not letting your place on fire, you can do things like relieve your anxiety. Yeah. Reduce your headaches have immunity boosts. Yeah. So I'm going to set you guys up. I, I, that's actually speaking, that no, that's speaking I love to that. me right now. And, I have no yeah. idea. And when you want to set the mood and have some sex, you can either <laughs> for once in a while, light the candles right. just for the mood or, right. you, or you can buy those. Now you can, you can basically, it's 2019. You get candles that look pretty fucking yeah. real. And they're right. fake. Yeah. And they're fake. Yeah. And then you get this thing going. Okay. <laughs> I so, love it. So I love it. I'm sold. Go to go to nhoils.com. Follow us on Natural Habits on Instagram. 30% uh, off your order. We do offer free domestic shipping. Uh, should we use code daddy? Code yes. daddy. D-A-D-D-Y, yes. code daddy for 30% off your oh. order. Uh, check us out at nhoils.com. Don't kill the birds. Don't kill them. Don't kill or the canaries. Set your place on fire. Uh, <laughs> we are now selling uh, diffuser oils with our roll-on blends. Rise, protect, center, and release. Um, helping with anxiety, sleep, immunity boost, headaches, 
and a boost of energy. All right, back to fuck boys. <laughs> fuck boys. Um, <laughs> so what is a fuck boy? Okay. And how can we identify yeah. one? There's multiple signs of a fuck boy. Multiple signs. Multiple signs. Yes. Sign one. Well, we always- He wears shoes, a shirt, and pants. So that <laughs> So he's a fuck boy. Fuck boy. Um, all of them. All Just of them. No, have so you been, <laughs> have you, either of you been fuck boyed? Oh yeah, yeah, for I sure, have. for sure. I think college when I was like young and naive, yeah. I really was obsessed right. with all of them. I wanted them all. Did you have? <laughs> and an they didn't want me. Did you guys have a fuck boy revelation where you're like, no more? Oh yeah, I and think it was every like an girl. Awake, a fuck boy awakening. I think I had a uh, revelation with this podcast, and we yeah. had to really sit here and dissect it. And I'm like, shit, I really have dealt <laughs> yeah. with a fuck boy. I've been fuck boy. All right, <laughs> yeah. Step one, he has a dick. Okay, he has a dick. Yeah. Okay. Um. So basically, so, <laughs> sign number one might be Whoa. a fuck boy. <laughs> very good if he has a, a strong very good possibility. Um, so we always talk about a fuck boy, like we had just said. He uses manipulation tactics tactics to finesse having Such sex as. with you. So what he's gonna do is inconsistent communication is such a strong one Huge. for a fuck boy. So one minute, it's like he's blowing up your phone on Monday. He's bored. He's horny. He wants you to come over. And then Friday rolls around and you're like, oh my God, like David and I are like kind of hitting it off. Like we had sex this mm -hmm. week, like loving him. And then on Friday, he goes cold. You don't hear from him and he's out with the boys and he doesn't answer anything. He's posting on his snap story, et cetera. That's a huge one. Now huge. question though, in this relationship that's going on yeah. you're describing, has there ever, has there been any DTRing? Down to da what? Defining the relationship? No, no, it's been, no. Um, I would say it can either be that he said that he's not looking for anything serious um, or even if he's leading you on. It's just- So let's a, say you go yeah. on a date. Okay. Let's say the first date, you guys keep it in your pants. Okay. But mm -hmm. the second date, you know what? Fuck it, we're Happens. fucking. It yeah. happened, yep. you had a great time. Had a few yeah. drinks. Okay. Nothing's talked about. Yep. We're both adults. We don't need to make this mm -hmm. weird, but yeah. like, I guess we should hang out again. So you haven't talked about it, but then inconsistency happens. Yeah, is he right. a fuck boy or no. it's just a sign? No, well, no, that's, I think that is him um, like owing you nothing. You have to recognize that too. It's like yeah. you went on two dates. Like I know girls are naturally way more emotional when it sure, comes to, to life. And then sex, it's even worse. Mm -hmm. So when you have sex with a guy, girls naturally are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love you. Yeah. And they start to get emotional with it. And that's girl's fault when it's like, okay, you had sex with him, but he did not, yeah. oh, he doesn't owe you but anything after I, that. I think the fuck boy really comes into play is when he's telling you things to make you think that he really, really likes you for sure. something yep. more than sex. Yeah. That's when he becomes a fuck boy. Yeah. If it's the early I, stages and yeah. you guys are okay. just fucking around, he's not a fuck boy. No. Okay. All but right, so kind of he is because yeah. they're always a fuck because they're wearing pants and shirt the and they have a thing. penis. Well, yeah. you say <laughs> in, 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 uh, you say the inconsistent communication, yeah. and mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, well, hello, I've done that. Yeah, but but you are not. But not deliberately, her. it's more like- Right, this yeah. is when guys are saying like, oh my gosh, like I'm so into you, like this is going so well. It's when you're leading her on mm -hmm. and then you disappear. And it's like, well, what the hell? And then she, he's with yeah. Stacy, and it's like, she, Rebecca's crying at home mm -hmm. and he sees her out at the, or he's at the bar. So it's like, it's when he's leading you yeah. on I, and see, then he I goes totally to you. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very like, and again, like I'm, I'm, I, I definitely want to meet someone, but if I see someone, I just enjoy their company and I'm not sure what right. I, I'm more on the opposite. I will, uh, even sometimes I will wonder if I'm catching feelings for a girl yeah. and I will hold back because okay. like, I don't, I don't want to lead anyone lead on. on. That's good. You know? um, okay. so I don't want to get myself into a situation. Yeah. I, no, also, it's good. just like, I don't want to, right. I don't want to be accused of being a fuck boy or like, <laughs> that's, no, that's that good. motherfucker yeah. led me on, you know, like, Fuck him. Um, so, so when you start to have feelings for a girl, you'll hold back. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I will try to figure out where I'm at. I mean, yeah. it wasn't always this way. Yeah, but in my life, I I am now because, quite honestly, I think as I get older, I ha I ha I do get a little more cynical. Mm -hmm. So like, it's I think it's harder to fall in love when you get older. At least it has been for okay. me. Okay, just because. It, you're, I was more, you know, you're more naive when you're younger. Like totally. the first time you meet someone who have feelings, you literally were like, ah, oh I'm my like God. tingling. Marriage. This yeah. is, marriage. I, we're married. I can't yeah. live with, I literally. This is it. This is, it. This is so this exciting. Is so <laughs> great. When's the wedding? And then, you know, you break up yeah, and then you yeah. like, you get over that relationship and you're like, oh, well I got over it. And then yeah. it happens again. And you're like, okay. And then like falling for someone and getting over it is just like a part of life. Yeah. Uh -huh. So then when you meet someone older and when you're older and like, you're just like, 
you're just a little bit more pragmatic. At least I am. I'm just more like, all right, well, let's, let's just see where it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, if let's go bowling and I don't. Yeah. Right. Right. That makes I, I want to ask you a question. If you go on a date with a girl and you know, right off the bat, you really like her. Are you going to be inconsistent with like, you're talking to her? I will or say from that day, will you make sure that you're talking to her consistently every day? Well, there's two answers to your question. Okay. I, I mean, for me, and I will generally say like when I get a lot of questions on my questions with Nick is that it's not that hard to figure out whether a guy's likes you. Exactly. And I would say the same thing about women. It's oh, just like sure. when you really into someone, busy people make time for the people they for want to sure. spend time yeah. with yeah. at the end of the day. Like, I don't care how busy you are when you're yeah. into someone. Oh, you everyone's will move had your that schedule, texting right? buddy where you like cannot get off your phone and you're texting 24 um, seven. Right. So when you're, you know, into someone you, you do again, for me, I'm just, I sometimes like struggle with like, am I really going to, do I should fuck it. Should I just pick somebody? Should I just, you know, like, no, like pick someone to settle down with? Yeah, no, mean, because then that's so rude to her. Like, she's just like, no, all right, I, fine. But is it? Because I um, feel like there's this theory where men, right, they'll hit the age and the next girl they date, they're like, marriage kids. Let's no, go. Like, I've yeah. seen it before. That, where, like, yeah. some guy, I've seen it. I uh, definitely have seen it. I grew up in Milwaukee and like <sighs> all of a sudden, this guy, he's in his early 30s. He was a total fuck boy. Okay. This guy, he's just like, he's hitting the club scene. Dude starts losing his hair and the girl, he <laughs> fucked around for like three years and kept breaking up with her and all of a sudden they're engaged out of nowhere. Okay. And like motherfucker started losing his hair. <laughs> yeah, hold on. And it's just like, He's like, couple. I got I got to settle down now. <laughs> yeah. I mean that, I think that definitely happens. I, I mean, I'm, I'm half joking where like, I, again, I refuse to do that. I won't do yeah. that. And I don't want to, because I really like, I'm going to be patient. I'm not. Um, but sometimes it, I do like, you'll be like, you know, maybe because that, I think even when you get older, you still want those, those feelings of the, the excitement, the butterflies. Oh, yeah. It's like, of course. and sometimes it's harder to do that. So if to answer your question, mm -hmm. if I like a girl, she'll know. And I also don't like, I don't, I don't honestly give a shit if I, if I'm texting you back too quickly if you come off and somehow strong, that like, yeah. Fine. I right. think that's if so you, refreshing. That's we if, always tell guys it's yeah. so, it is the worst thing for a guy to do when if you like were just away for two hours and you just couldn't look at your phone and then I text him back and then he just happens to take right. two hours to respond. It's yeah. like, it's, it's too so calculated. No, I'm a, I mean, even yeah. like when I was messaging you and I was in yeah. New York, I was like, hey, I'm in New York. If you right. want to be together, great. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I think maybe like, I don't think you were busy, but I was like, hey, no, seriously, if you want to get together, let me right. know. Otherwise I'm gonna do this other thing. Like, right. And if the, and I, my thought process in that, if she was like, oh, he asked twice, but I don't, right. I don't care. And, but see, yeah. that's the I mean, there's the a point issue. where it gets weird when he keeps Absolutely. writing back, but like yeah. at some point asserting yourself of, I would like to hang out with you. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I just don't have the patience. Right. Nor I, do I care. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we always talk about on our podcast is there are people like you that are saying that you're so upfront. Um, and that's why with a fuck boy, it's again, unhealthy that we tell girls this, but you, if you want to get a guy to basically be obsessed with you. That's a fuck boy. You need to basically mirror and mimic his behavior. So yeah. everything girls do to a fuck boy is the complete opposite of what you're supposed to do. They chase them and they're, they show up to the bar that yeah. they know they're going to be at and they're standing there and, and waiting. They, for them. And they call them out and on they, the shit that they're number doing. Number one rule. You never, never call out a fuck boy on his behavior ever, ever, ever. Ever. You never draw attention never. to what he's doing, which a lot of girls do. They get so upset and it's the worst thing to do. When you yeah. say call out. So on a recent episode, I, uh, R my Rochelle, who's not here today, uh, had this, she, she was dating this guy uh -huh. and okay. she hooked up with them. She's like, I don't know, classic, like they're having sex on a regular basis. And then all of a sudden I know where she was like, do you like me? Okay. And he was like, no, I just want to have sex type of thing. <laughs> okay. And I said to her, and it was not necessarily calling it out, but I've, I've given other friends advice, other women advice where not calling them out like fuck boyish, but flip the script where it's just like, just be totally indifferent and say, Hey, listen, buddy, you seem like a nice guy and I like having sex with you. Mm -hmm. But I want a relationship and you just seem like you're just too busy doing your fuck boy things. And that's totally cool. Mm -hmm. It's totally cool. But I just don't think you're ready for something like this. Yeah. Is that like not see, cool? See or that, like, we usually tell them, th we usually tell them there's a line of that can work. However, there are some girls that could say that and they come off so, so butthurt and it's too yeah. transparent. Oh yes. If you, you like, have to fine. really, like, like it yes. has not to be even matter. Like we'll be, yeah. in no. how you, you say have to, it. Well, yes. that's the thing. You're kind of, you have to be like totally 
chill yeah. and different. Yeah. But like, listen, I'm doing you a favor. It's right. just totally fine. Right. Yeah. Like, really, we're good. And I might, I might still be open to having sex with yeah. you. I haven't like, decided you yet. Know. But just so you know, yeah. right? Like, you, I'm doing yeah. you a favor, buddy. Right. Right. Yeah. right. If you can't, if if it sounds like it's no. hurting your soul to yeah, say like, this, yeah, like it's fine. Like I get it. You want to have sex with other girls? It's fine. It's fine. Um, like whatever. It doesn't. even I don't even care. It's like I really couldn't even care, and you're like kind of tearing up. Like no, no, no. Girls, no. Yeah. I was thinking that, but that's different than not. You don't. So when you say you don't want to call him out on this bullshit, you mean like you don't want to get defensive? Okay. So say like this is just a very basic level, but if you have sex with him and then an hour later you see on Instagram that he just went and liked seven girls' pictures, and you're all in your feels because you just thought you had the most emotional, great sex, you're not gonna be like, wow, like you couldn't even wait till like next week. No, no. No. or never, not in a million years. You do do not do anything. And if anything, if you really want to get back at him and manipulate that behavior, maybe I don't know. A week from now, you follow two of his buddies. Yeah. Okay. But it can't be That's, it can't be that hour. It can't then be it's you look but her. Right. It has to be very strategic. It's, it's a strategic And we system. know that this sounds immature and it unhealthy, hold, but it works. Hold on, let's it break works. this down. Let's break it down. It works. Like it's, I totally believe you know, it's this is the great. game. So, but like, all right, if we're gonna try to spin this to a somewhat like healthy behavior. <laughs> okay. Um so what so the step one, if you can, probably would just be I agree, don't definitely don't call them out. No, no, yeah. no. But it's literally mimicking their behavior. You, mm-hmm. So, so maybe just don't have sex with them again. No. Cut your losses. No, 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 you do. See, Why? this is what you could do. But, what, but, but this is only if you really want to. But what if they're this, enjoying these the sex? Are, these are the girls trying to trap the sex. So if you're, yeah. if, you're tra- if you're enjoying the sex, then I think you have to decide yeah. what it is you want, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Because I do think a lot of people mm-hmm. will lie to themselves about what they want oh, out of a relationship. All the time. Yeah, girls yeah, yeah. do that all the time, yeah. Right? So do men though too. Men, like, do, men do it too. Like yeah, men they get do. fucking, yeah. they get, they get, they get in their feelings field. too. I mean, it may be more women than men that get emotional, but when a man is like- When he comes when across he, the voodoo clam and he's like, oh my God, yeah. that was the best <laughs> sex <laughs> I love her. What's the, the voodoo, voodoo clam? clam? The voodoo clam <laughs> is when you have a guy keying your car, lighting your lawn on fire, <laughs> calling your mom, being like, I can't this get man. over this you pussy. You said clam? Voodoo clam. It's when you have like the that bomb pussy where it's like, holy shit, the guy is in love. He goes, he goes, he goes a little crazy. Over you will know if you have it. When a guy yeah. is like mm-hmm. tunnel vision yep. on a girl, he is more oh, insane yeah. than any yes. oh my woman God. has ever been. Yes. Ever. Yes. So true, yeah, Nick. Totally. This is so good right <laughs> now. No, it's so true. They, they yeah. actually lose their mind. Totally lose their oh mind. Oh my God. Girls are, you know, a little bit always on that Always path. crazy. Yeah, they're like kind of always on the spectrum, yeah. the but it's never go, really that bad. Right. Men Absolutely. Yeah. Lose it. It's great. Like when the guy's there, you're like, whoa, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like for laugh. I'm sure it's great. But yeah. Like, but like chill. <laughs> yeah. Chill. Um, yeah. All right. So yeah, I think you need to come. So you want you want her to follow this is the thing i think what i'm just saying friends. is like you we said every girl out there has encountered it's like the weirdest moment in your life when you encounter your first fuck boy okay. every girl knows that moment where you're like oh my god wait i love this guy and then he lets you down and it's kind of easy to like know when you see a fuck boy and when you're interacting with one but we're just saying I've been that girl where I'm like, yeah. but I want him. And my friend's like, he's a douche. Don't do that. But you want him. So what we do in our podcast is we're just giving you the exact mm-hmm. step-by-step of how to make him be a little obsessed with you. So yeah. you follow his friend. Yeah. Follow his friends or just other. It, yeah. You could follow one of his boys. Yeah. And That's then totally when fun. he calls you out, what do you You're do? You're like, relax. Anytime a fuck boy calls you out, you never address the issue. <laughs> nope. You never You're answer the question. You're going to deflect. You're going to say, Always. babe, babe, relax. Stop. <laughs> And then Why are you getting on. so emotional over and, there? Uh, right. I mean, I, no. that, that would totally work. Are you heated right now? All right, let's go get Chipotle. And right. he's like, what the fuck? What is she do. fucking him? You're totally right. They mm-hmm. get so, if you do it's not mind answer, Because tell me this isn't true. No guy wants to think, even if he knows it's happening, no guy wants to hear or think about their girl fucking another guy right. ever. They don't want to Generally talk about speaking, it, think about it. Some guys yeah. are in some weird shit. Uh, of course, cuckolding, but they don't <laughs> want to. We can talk about that too. Oh, cuckolding. cuckolding. Here we go. Um, that was the main. I feel like I need to ask you about these stickers. Uh, second, Nick's but. like, let's stay flack. Don't want to talk about cuckolding. Stay, that's fine. Stay, stay focused, but we'll, um, we'll get to it. Uh, no, but luck, 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 luck. Um, no, but yeah, it's it is. It's a tricky situation, yeah. I, but I think another huge one is the inconsistent texting. So if you're dealing with a fuck boy and he's not responding to you for a couple days, 
women need to do the same where they then disappear for Dis- a couple up days. here is one of our biggest things mm-hmm. for women. Turn on your goddamn red receipts, ladies, and disappear. Disappear for a couple days. You kn- I love that you said that because I feel like a lot of people don't have the read receipts on. Oh God, I tell you what, yeah. read receipts is a power move. Oh it my is. God. I we read your text episode. and I'm not responding. <laughs> yeah. And it's this a power is the thing. move. It and is. I want to tell every girl out there, when I was younger, I would always hit them with the K because there's something in you. It's don't like, care. shit, I just want to send it. Don't ever care. There is nothing more powerful oh. than just silence. Yes. The K and is nothing. like so butthurt. Well, I always nothing. say the, the opposite of love is not hate. It's indifference. Okay. Right? Yeah. I like that. When, yeah. when someone's like, I hate you, I'm just like, oh, you still oh. love me. Oh my God. Uh-huh. I'm so sorry. I love you too. Yeah, I love you, you. care, you care you enough too. to call me out. Right, right. But when someone like, if you were to run into your ex mm-hmm. that cheated on you or whatever, mm-hmm. and yep. now they're dating someone else, you run into them and you walk up to them and you're like, Matt. Oh my God. So good to see you. Yeah. I heard you're dating Carol. Yeah. How, how, how is everything? How are you guys doing? And if That's she's so there, great. introduce yourself. Is she here? Totally. Yeah. Oh, how are you? And yeah. you're just like, she, she's the girl from high school oh my God. that you like, you, you yeah. ran into and you're just being nice. Mm-hmm. That if you can totally. do that, you will fuck with them. Yeah. Oh my God. I ran into my yeah. ex fiance who cheated on me. Oh yeah. shit. Okay. And she, well, I mean, it was her bachelorette party and she decided to show up to the bar. I went oh. every Saturday at the time. Wait, so it was her bachelorette party? Her bachelorette She's getting party. married? This was years ago. Oh, and like she showed up to your ago. bar my that bar, you go to. My bar. My bar. Your my, bar. We're my girlfriend at the time. And my How dare she? No, it was, oh. I was fine. You don't own the bar, do you? you no, just, it's your no. go. Okay, yeah. okay. It was, it was, it's not even open. This is 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. And I just remember that I was just like, I had this, I was like prepared. Yeah. And I was like, oh, congratulations. Like, Are you excited? Are you excited? Like how... How, yeah. Like, so this is in a couple of weeks. She just starts bawling. Oh okay. my God. And, and she's was, about to get married. About to get married. Holy and I was just shit. Like, there was. You're like, never, that seems like a personal issue. I was like, oh, no, it's going to be fine. Good luck with that marriage. No, no, I wasn't even like that. I was like, no, it's going to be fine. You're going to be so happy. Oh, it was yeah. such a big win. It I was bet. such really a good. big win. I that's really but good. But it wasn't it because I think what happened, first of all, alcohol. Yep. Second mm-hmm. of all, for whatever reason, she decided to show up just one more. Mm-hmm. Mm. Love and that. instead of me like audibly losing my shit and yeah. like having that nervous energy, I just f- th- th- threw it for a loop. Yeah, like it, it came out of, I, ch- I flipped a script, changed the playbook and it just- No, it sc- messed up them so much. Oh, yeah. it's So to do that, you're just like- Yeah, I mean the, <gasps> yeah. Letter, the letter K is the most butthurt oh my thing God. you can K. do. You, K. K. K, honestly, whatever. No like, don't even care. Like you're bawling your eyes out, bitch. Right. Like shut up. But no that, that read receipt, it's, like- It is so total. beautiful, guys. I read your message. And I'm not answering. And I'll get back to you. Yeah, Maybe. And that's the thing. Know. The red receipt allows people to think that you're sitting there like, okay, so are they ignoring and not answering or they are eventually going to answer? And that's beautiful, girls. And if they call- Call you out on mm-hmm. leaving them on red. You answer like three hours later, and you're like, "Oh, well, relax. I was busy. Like, what's up?" And never, never play into when they start freaking out. That's when you know you've got them. Yeah. Now you got the voodoo clam. You got the voodoo clam, baby. Point. Now, when you have the fuck boy whispered, mm-hmm. then what do you do? In the sense oh. that you're now you're still dealing with a fuck boy right. who mm-hmm. you've whispered into. They're on edge. They're just making sure. Yeah. Because here's the, I think the risk of that is it's a power dynamic, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Fuck boy has the power in this relationship. He's per, this perceived power. Yeah. You have whispered the fuck out of, you read, receipt him, you, you don't mm-hmm. care. Yeah. All of a sudden he's like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I, I don't want to date her, but like if I might have to ask her to marry me right. just to get the power back. <laughs> I kind of love this bitch, but what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And so now, now he will do whatever to get the power back. And then once I think what the risk I think you get into is because ultimately you did this because you want to be with this fuck boy. Right. And it's so easy, I think, to lose that power again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you're still stuck with the fuck boy who yeah. deep yeah. down just wants to have sex with you. I think that I know it's kind of backwards, but I do think that the longer you play the game and flip the script and kind of mirror his actions. Um, there's a lot of situations that leave, at least I've come across where I do this to a guy. And then if you're, you know, taking the sexual tips that we give our girls on our <laughs> podcast, if everything, everything kind of comes together for a guy almost. And he's like, okay, wait, I love this bitch. I think, I know what you're saying. Sometimes you can get into like this. Like why weird, trap right, a fuck boy right. is what you're asking essentially. Sure. Well, here, I will, here's what I'll say. I agree with you is that like when I'm dating, you're sometimes, you're looking for that intangible. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And 
just like there's a lot of basic men out there for women, it, we're a dime a dozen, right? Yeah. I'm sure most time we're all doing the same shit. Mm -hmm. And like, you, there's five different guys you've been on dates with. And it's like, this is this guy, this is that guy, yeah. and right. whatever. And so guys the same way. It's just like, it's, yeah, they're all great. You're all beautiful. Yeah. But it's like, you're just, guys are just looking for that, whatever. She can hang with me. And yeah. for me, I do like a, a girl, a woman who like keeps me on my, t I'm a, Guys yeah, love the crazy. I'm a little bit of a, you know, I can be sarcastic and quick witted. Absolutely. Sometimes a snarky little dick, you know? Yep. And so when I get all of a sudden like clap back and I'm yeah. like, honestly, I don't know what to say right now. Yeah. And I love you. And I love um, you. So holy shit. Wow. Yeah. So there's no, definitely a little yeah, bit of that. that. Like, you know, you're, 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 you're trying to, and it's not that I'm being a fuck boy. I just don't know how I feel about you. Yeah. And so to get a little bit of that where it's this consistent, like, yeah, you're great and all, and I'm into you, but like, whatever, I can do without you. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to buy course. the ring. Hold on. Uh, no, yeah, so I think early likes, in dating, yeah. there's that healthy amount of like showing you're their, each other's equals, Absolutely. right? Like, uh -huh. because again, it's all about power and not having For it. it. So, like, I think a relationship, no relationship's going to work if one person has all the power and the right. other yeah. person is just like, well, love I think me. there's, I think there's some relationships that work like that where one person, you think holds, so? I think there are some. I could never be in one like that. Well, do, I think do you they think that's exist. a personality thing? I think, Maybe. I yeah. think relationships like that exist and work for some people. Yeah. But I think when you're trapping a fuckboy, there's a lot of the power going back and forth between yeah. the both of you. Yeah. Because Which, everyone loves the chase at yeah, some point in their life. Right? Like it's so addicting. And at the end of the day, I think even when you're married, like you've got to keep people on your toes. Naturally as humans, like we want what we can't have. And so there's a line that you have to find between like making it fun, but also not making it like, this is actually so unhealthy. This is annoying. Right. You know, agree, right? right. like you get a lot of like, it's, you know, the, none of us are married, but like the complacency that can happen in any long-term relationship. Yeah. And I think to a certain degree, there always should probably maybe be that like, power shift from time Absolutely. to time. Yeah. Where Absolutely. Sometimes you just feel a little bit like, yeah. I'm going to yeah. step up my game. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you know, yeah. but then it like kind of yeah. tweaks a little bit. We were talking about, so for a fuck boy, a lot of times, and listen, girls, like I get this again, does not sound healthy, but a lot of times if you're having just a sexual relationship with a guy that's a fuck boy, um, Girls have a tendency if they have sex with the guy and the morning comes, sometimes they get a little in their feels and they're like, what are we doing for breakfast? And you're hanging out. And it's oh, like- Oh, no, 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 girls. Don't, girls. Let, I want to try to explain to girls what the post-nut clarity is. <laughs> And the real okay. thing. The pay yeah. Pay attention. And, and a lot of girls don't they have know no what idea. This is. Yeah. This is so, so, so many so women real. don't know. A lot of times girls, you're laying there after sex and you're like, wait, why did he just go like into right. the bathroom and lock the door? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> or you try to cuddle him and he kind of turns over and he's like by himself. And you're like, what the hell? Like, why is he being so cold towards me? Mm -hmm. The post not clarity. Sophia, do you want to talk about it? It is this moment of clarity that a man has where he has 20, 20 vision. After he just came. After he mm -hmm. just, ejaculated <laughs> wherever you wherever, wanted him maybe to maybe on this poor girl maybe not maybe you know, this is new yeah. for my audience inside on your forehead <laughs> i'm kind of like a child on my podcast okay, where okay, I'll, no okay. i'll like i'll like i'll be talking about sex and then like and we uh you know uh sometimes right. good we, stuff yeah yeah <laughs> right yeah, he finishes he he finishes no, and okay. he has this um, crystal clear vision of what just went down. I've heard yeah. some men can see into the future. Mm -hmm. I've heard a no, bunch of- No, what it is is like, <laughs> for, the first thing is like- See into the future. The I've heard that The that first reaction is like- what did I what just, just do? Happened? I just said some crazy shit. Right, right, right. right. Uh, it's like how, uh -huh. it's, okay, girls, it's to try to give you like a, a comparison. It's how you kind of feel after you, if you just masturbate and you watch porn, there's a part of where you feel like super great, but you're also like, oh my God, like I kind of feel dirty. But and it's it, very different yeah. for men. And very men just different. need to be alone in this moment yeah. for a minute. Here's the thing. If, 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 I, if I sum magic while having sex, right before he's about to, uh, end it all. End yep. it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Finish it up. What? <laughs> if you could in that moment, and I'm talking, there's like a 15 second window, yeah, not okay. the build up to like almost okay. climax, but okay. there's that 15 second window where he knows it's about to happen uh, okay. before it finishes. He will literally agree to anything. Oh my God. Right. Anything. Oh my God. Yeah. If you had your lawyers there to sign something. <laughs> say you want to marry me. Let's go. Let's say go. Let's you go. Marry, <laughs> and he will, uh, he anything. is down for literally. Anything. 
anything. Okay, it's about 15 seconds. And so seconds. sometimes in those okay. 15 seconds, when you're like talking or saying some dirty say shit. You love me, say, say you love me, say you love me. And then he, he you finish it and all of a sudden he's like, holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my God. Uh, what did well, I just do with back. this poor girl? Take, yeah. Holy yeah. shit, I take it all back. Like, yeah, so I think girls thing. just know that it's nothing that you did right or wrong. Mm -hmm. It's like, they just guys need that need, moment. Guys need a second. And yes. there, a lot of things are going through their head. Yeah, and girls get emotional and they're like, why is he not cuddling me? Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. But when you are having sex with a fuck boy, Again, this is a tactic that I think works. Um, after you have sex with him, don't always stay the night. No. Girls get too comfortable and stay the night. This is the best thing is you Mix get up, up immediately. You grab his face, you kiss him on the cheek, mm -hmm. and you're like, I'll text you when I get home. Right. And then you never text him when he gets home. But, but and I promise you, he'll text you and be like, did you get home okay? You don't want to get too, you don't want to get too comfortable doing yeah. that or else then you're going to just start feeling like a hooker, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. If you, you gotta hurry, grab your stuff and run every single I time, have you got to switch it up. I think more women are getting, are, are doing yeah. that. that. <laughs> um, I will, I will He's say- He's like, hey, that happens to me a lot, actually. <laughs> like, no, I mean, like, it's more like, well, it's like, well, do you want me to kind of thing? Oh, or, oh girls. girls. If you're doing that, if no. you're asking the question, get out of it. Um, get up and get out. But I, I but I don't mean like, but I, I it does work, right? If, oh, yeah. if a if a girl were to like, no, I can't stay over. I have yeah. shit to do. Like, the guys you. will immediately be like, well, I mean, you can. Right. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. See, I'll see you. Like, I'll text you later. And then you don't text them later. Uh -huh. It will definitely. Yeah. That, and because yeah. guys naturally works. are, totally. obviously their ego. It's like, well, wait, like was the dick not good? Like, mm -hmm. wait, what did, did I do something wrong? And then you're also like, I kind of feel a little used. That's totally. what my guy friend is like. Sometimes when girls do that, I'm like, I feel a little used. Yeah. Like, wait a second. And that kind of is a yeah. great feeling for well, it's, us. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it's funny. I do uh, my questions with Nick. I 20, I get 30 questions. 30% 30 of the question is this X, Y, Z happened. What were, was I used? I feel used yeah. or mm. used. And I, it's so fascinating that w I, women will use that phrase a lot to yeah. like, he used me just for sex. Where right. the, the, the stereotype is, you know, men are more sexually open. So right. like, right. they don't understand yeah. the concept of being used. But uh -huh. if, if the power shifted <laughs> where she's just like, ah, man, like, thank you for. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, High yeah. five. Let's Thanks go. for sharing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Talk to you soon. I, I want to try throwing like a hundred dollar bill on a guy oh next time. Oh my and then God. Leave. How is that be? <laughs> That's a little call her. Nick is so confused. Well, that's call her daddy. Yeah. Throw a hundred like and thanks for that. Go. See you next time. No, no, you <laughs> do. Like, excuse me. You know what you do if you have a second date and you're just like, <laughs> you go, you go get ice cream or coffee or even dinner. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. You're just like, listen. You were great last time. And I wanna. <laughs> I got this. I got this. I got this one. He's like, excuse me. Way to step up. That's His amazing. penis shrivels up. I, He's like, what? And I expect the same performance yeah. next time. <laughs> A guy great. is gonna be like, what? That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, you will. Yes. I listen. I I appreciate you you guys being so honest because like. I, I totally agree with you. In general, if you feel like you are are not in control and you have to manipulate too much, yeah. that's not healthy. But the truth is when it comes to, I, I do hate it when people say, I hate playing the game. Everyone fucking plays Everyone it to a certain one. degree. Right. Even if you don't want to, like you're always, when you don't know someone, when mm -hmm. you're starting off and you're dating someone, Everyone. you don't know them. So you're yeah. trying to feel it out. And yeah. that in itself is the no, game. I always say, and I know it sounds messed up, but I always say there are two people in this world, those who get finesse or those who finesse. Right. And when you're starting to date, you kind of got to yeah. play the game because totally. if you're not going to play it, then they're going to play it and you're going right. to be on bottom. And, you, and, and be you on top. find someone that you can yin and yang with yeah. and that like you both, yeah, you absolutely. both kind of get each other and there's a little yeah, bit yeah. of, yes, because if you are just, just waiting for him to love mm -hmm. you, yeah. And when guys are waiting, there's, I mean, you know, nothing I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong, will turn off a woman more than a guy is just, love me. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm going to get really please, deep here. Please, are you okay? Please. Are you, please, like, are you please okay? Please get out of my face. Oh please. my God. Can we hang out, please? please? And, like, bye. Do you want to cuddle, please? Oh, God. Please? And then you get in bed and he wants to be Little Spoon and you're Big Spoon. You're like, no, what is this I, shit? No. I don't mind a Little Spoon oh, now and then. Oh, my God. Ever? Never? No, no, that's no. fine. But like when he's trying to act all tough on the first couple of dates and then you get in bed and he's trying to be Little Spoon, you're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. What is going on? Sometimes my Little Spoon is like right, a little selfish. Okay. Only, it's selfish because it's like, I, I don't. No. I want to sleep comfortably. I feel oh, that. I feel that. Okay. The sleeping position. Right. Sometimes I, I sometimes I leg spoon. 
Oh, I, oh, I like that. We're I, just yeah. like, I'm gonna, you're gonna go on your side. Yeah, because it's I'm uncomfortable go to always be. But I wanna yeah. let you know that I'm I'm glad you're here. Yeah. And oh, I just kind of do this little foot on foot. Little I call foot, it and foot, foot on foot. Little action. foot on foot. Like, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's or like sometimes one. I'll like, I'll kind of like, I'll lean over, I, I like the arm and kind of like oh, yeah. the small yeah. of the back, or maybe just a little, any bit little of touch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little butt grab. Yep. Yeah. So any know? type yeah. of like touch when you're yeah. like in it's bed. Like if personal you, yeah. space, totally. but like, you know, middle, uh, or like the middle of the night. Oh. The middle of the night, wake up, and it's just like that moment of like, I'm glad you're here, babe. Yep. Yeah. And you just kind of like, you're not yeah, aggressive, you're not trying to That's have sex again. Yeah. But it's just. That's hey. the best. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? What? I'm here. God, you're sexy. I'm going to go back to bed. Okay, good night. Um, were you about to get emotional that. for a second? What no, were you no, no, no. I, go I was going to say, there are people that are like, I'm not playing the game, which I have said that before. And I subconsciously am playing the game. Yeah. You know, I, I don't even realize I'm doing it. And I think I'm being authentic, yeah. but I'm like, why did I decide to wait two days to answer him? Yeah. You know what I By mean? By not well, playing the game, you have a game. at the moment you say, I'm not playing the game, you're you playing. are in fact- Yeah, because you're recognizing <laughs> there's a it. game. Because you realize yeah. there's a game no, going but, on. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't even realize they're doing it and yeah. they just do it. It's also like, okay, like that's, yeah. it's called dating. It is. It's uh-huh. a, yeah. It's yeah. a, it's just things we do. We're like, we're all creatures who just like yeah. are trying to, it's all power dynamic and we're just trying to find our match. Yeah. And we all, we're all men and women are definitely suckers for the things that we can't have. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. And we, I always say like, you know, when it comes to dating, it's hard. Um, people, why am I always into the guy who's not into me and vice versa, right? Everyone yeah. says that. Yeah. yeah. Well, because like- You like the game. <laughs> it's not even yeah. the game. It's just more like we're always going to seek out- Of course. The things that we are, are attracted to. Mm-hmm. And that shouldn't be, just by default, shouldn't be that easy. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, no. If you walk in and you feel like I can have my pick of the litter, you immediately- don't want it and doesn't work right like yeah. absolutely i mean there are so many people that get in relationships that's like easy and then you go out that night and there's the guy you can't get and you're like oh my god the chase is fun you can't have something you want it more and if someone's so available so open all the time it's like yeah. well this isn't that fun and i can mm-hmm. have you whenever i want and also there's a difference between like easy in a relationship and like Again, the excitement and banter back and of forth. Course. Like if easy could like if he listen, at the end of the day, if you're really trying to trap a fuck boy and at the end of the day he just doesn't respect you, yeah, like yeah. you shouldn't be you're Absolutely. not gonna be happy. Right. You're gonna Absolutely. always feel like I'm never Yeah. Like I had the power for the day and fuck I lost it yeah. again. Like yeah. I, I can't I can't whisper this fuck boy. For, um, I cannot whisper this I just one. can't he's unwhisperable. Oh my yeah. god. Um but so, most yeah. are whisperable. I have a really random question that just popped into my head and I don't wanna forget it about The Bachelor. Um, I wanted to ask you, because I personally think it's so fascinating that this show is still going. I watch it. I think it's great. It's great entertainment. Um, But I do think it's kind of bizarre that they haven't um, adjusted the show at all. In what way? To be able to have your phones. Because here's my theory. um, I know it won't work, (laughs) but what I'm saying is, do you think there's any way that things or relationships aren't working afterwards because you get out. What if they're a bad texter? What if you hate the way they sext you? I don't get what that if, texting. No, oh my God, now. do you what know if they're I mean? spelling like, their, their, <laughs> their wrong every single they're time? They're sending like paragraphs. Have you question, you, you haven't read my question. Like, but I, do you know what I mean a little bit in the dating game? Like you're not in the real world Again, almost. Fine, true. I mean, okay, I'll answer. Do you I, know what I mean? I, I have questions. Okay. I, I'll answer your question. <laughs> okay. I have questions about okay. the bad. I'm, okay. I'm not a good speller. I'm just not. Okay, that's I, I'm. I know grammar. I do. I know okay. yours. I know how to do it. Okay. I know like when you should say like well versus good. I know this. Okay. But I'm also, when I text, my brain is going faster than my thumbs okay. can work. And I just don't like, I'm like driving and I shouldn't even be texting. And I, I don't have the patience to often proofread a casual conversation to like a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my texts are- Are scary. Yeah, I, a little scary. If, if, someone, if you're judging my brain capacity yeah. on my text messages- <laughs> Someone that, would think you're illiterate. 100 Is it that bad? Good to know, good yes. to know. Wow, good to know. Nick, it's, it's not I think good. you need let's, to work on it. Let's clean it up. Because it is clean important. It up. Um, okay. But do you know what I mean? It's a little unrealistic. I love it because it's like you're in this bubble, but the minute you get out, 
you got to start texting and FaceTiming. And then it's like, then you're in the real world texting people. And it's like, sure. how, how does that well, work? Well, here to answer your question. I don't think the show is overly concerned with giving you the most accurate portrayal of how someone might be in the real world. Right. Right. Okay. Um, I, I think sometimes the show gets unfair criticism. Listen, most relationships in the world don't work out. Of course. Yeah. So right. when people are like, oh, most relationships in Bachelor yeah, don't like, work out. Yeah, it's like, neither does yours, Becky. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> like, um, a lot of them have worked out. I think social media actually makes it easier because there's more an incentive for people to stay together. Right. Monetarily. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, I think I that, see, I that, keeps, that. that keeps people yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. fighting the good it. fight. Yeah. Like, I wish you really- Oh, let's, come on. These brand deals are coming. Like, no, we are in love. I really we also have this ad to hate your face, but like maybe we should give it another six yeah. months. Come on, tummy um, tea's coming at us. So yeah. there's a little bit of that. And I do think the charm of the show also too is that yeah. it's very much a like 1950s yeah, it's old fashioned. Uh, replication of what dating used to be where yeah. uh, people would date. Like, like women would go on a lot of dates with men at an early age. They wouldn't have, it would be literally just having conversation. It would yeah. be far less physical. Mm -hmm. And then then she just pick a guy. Wait, you so know? can you can was, you not um, look at these girls' social medias at all? Like when you get mm -hmm. on the show, you can't see their social media at all. I will say when I was The Bachelor, there were times where I tried, there were a couple of women where I was like, I wonder what her Instagram looks like. Yeah. And I don't mean like in a good way. I mean like, okay. like what is this idea. thought up Wait, to? Wait, that's so interesting I bet to this meet influencer someone. person, I bet. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Like they're I at 50K, like, they're they're ready to get to 200 yeah. after the show. Yeah, like why, what's going on? Why are you here? Yeah. Um, a little bit of that, sure. That well, happens. I definitely think it can be also concerning when you are The Bachelor. I know Colton had issues with it where it was like, it is kind of scary as it's getting more into like social media and everything that every one after The Bachelor, you're getting your brand deals, you're yeah. getting followers. There's a playbook now. So yeah, so it's kind of yeah. hard to be like, oh my God, is this person here to get famous Yeah. or for love? So I guess, I mean, I guess that's also in life I too. I think four years ago, more people were there for the experience, yep. even though the Are You Here To Be Famous was often thrown around. Of course. But I think more people, and now I think it's a little bit more of a fair criticism because yeah. there is a legit playbook. Absolutely. Right. Um, but whatever. I, get that, right? I mean, at the end of the day, people who- and I even joke about people stay together longer, but yeah. if it's, if it doesn't work out, like, right, you break right, right. Up. and that's like, just life. Right. It's not just The Bachelor. Yeah. Do you think that your dating life? Yeah, I'm sure you get that question all the time. But has your dating life changed from being true? Well, also, just because of how many times you obviously went on, like, do you think the girls judge you more because it's like, well, why doesn't why didn't anything work out? You know what I mean? I think it happens. Sure, I'm like self conscious about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean. I, I've talked about some other shows. I mean, yeah. like it's mm -hmm. there's a lot of information ab out there about me. Oh yeah, regardless if it's real or perceived. Right. Um, and so, I just it, it will change that dynamic because um, I have I'm on guard of what they know or don't know, yeah. uh, or what they might think. Um, if I go out with uh, an, I hate to say the word normal, but, yeah, but a normal, normal yeah. girl mm -hmm. who's good enough to like never bring it up. Like does it's it, weird. Do you no, think? No, sometimes I don't know. Cause sometimes they really don't know. Don't. I don't like to be lied to. If okay. you know, oh, yeah. don't fucking lie. We yeah. always talk about that. We yeah. talk uh, about that. Don't too. lie. Because even if it it's, comes out. It, it comes it out. And now out. now as small as it is, even though I know that you why why you did it because you're trying to be on my level. Right. You already lied to me. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's just fucking weird from that point yeah. out. If you don't want to talk about it. That's, That's fine, fine too. And eventually you can be like, all right, I got a few questions. Right. Great. Um, and that can make it more difficult for sure. Um, yeah. Is it annoying if a girl asks you about it on a date? No, because it's a part of my life. Of course. Right. Uh, and so if I actually am interested in someone, I, it, all, it always comes down to, do I think she's trying to get to know me or do I think she's trying to get an inside scoop oh, okay. about the show? Is she asking me about the show because she's always watched the show and she want to know, oh, is it God. real? Oh, God. Uh, oh, um, God. Tell me everything. I have to What's the mansion like? Is why, it? Why is don't it you guys real? eat the food? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so if I feel like she's trying to get to know me as the person and just try yeah. to understand like my experience, just right. like if, you know, I don't know anything about you, but if you're like, right. I did this in college and I'd be like, oh, what was that like? You know? Of course. I've never done 
done that before. Yeah. Explain that to me. Oh, that's yeah. an interesting story. I yeah. have more questions. Like, yeah. then it's totally, totally fine. I think that's a really good point that you just said that it is kind of shitty when they do lie because yeah. Sophia and I, a lot of people ask us, what the hell is it like dating with your new podcast? Mm-hmm. You guys are so open about Which your lives. I, I think the podcast could maybe arguably be more open just I, because yeah. of the you stuff should, we talk about. It should be about. more open? No, well, our no, show. I'm saying our like, show, maybe we are more open and people can know more about us than, than even just seeing you on The Bachelor. Bachelor. Well, I have, I'm curious about that. I will say when I started this podcast, I, you know, I knew I wanted to be, I'm kind I'm a private person when it comes to my dating life. Okay. Like yeah. so much, like on my social media, if you, like, I play into the I'm single on my social media. Okay. I'm always like, oh, you right. know. I'm single. I'm alone. <laughs> I'm still alone. <laughs> I'm going to paint today. If anyone's wondering. Like, um, but uh, <laughs> listen, I, 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 I'm actively dating him out there. I'm shooting right. my shots. I'm, you know, uh, and m- I have a healthy dating life. I haven't met my person. Okay. But when it comes to my social media, I just don't share it. Yep. Right. Yeah. Because I don't, yeah. I also don't want to, I, I want to be respectful of the people I'm going on dates. I don't like, some of them might want the attention, but I also like, they didn't yeah. ask for that. So I'm it's very protective. When I started this podcast, I wanted to be as authentic and honest about it, but I also didn't want to become a dating liability. Yeah. And I don't know how you women feel about that because it's like, you know, I don't want to go on a date and think, have her worried about yeah. being a topic on my podcast. Oh yeah. We, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, we run into that for, for sure. sure. If I do tell a story, I will never use names. Of course. And no. sometimes change the timing of it. Yeah. Same. Like, you know, sorry audience. But like, if I said no, something happened, like, you know, a year ago, maybe it happened yesterday. Right. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Usually not. Well, because um, you have to protect people. That's what we always say. Like mm-hmm. some of the guys we're dating, um, we always say, you know, we would prefer you don't listen because at the end of the day, it's kind of our work and it is- you That's get, hard to do. It, it, and it that's is. Like, that's like- It's hard. <laughs> it's hard, but it's- That's like going up to someone saying, it. hey- <laughs> Don't I, look behind you. I know. What does that person do? <gasps> but you know, there they- are some guys that I respect that are like, I yeah. respect that that's your job. And we, t- I say, I'll tell you enough about it. Mm-hmm. And I'm so open about it that they sure. get enough from me because at the end of the day, it's almost an unfair right. advantage when right. the amount we divulge about our we lives do. on this I, show. I mean, I'm dating a guy right now and I asked him to not listen and he has stood by that. And a lot of times people are like, well, how do you, do you talk know? about him? No. But a lot of times, well, here and there actually I do. But people will be like, how do you know um, that he doesn't listen? And I'm like, oh, the (laughs) shit that I say on this podcast, (laughs) I would see it on his goddamn face. Yeah, it would come out because it's come out before. Guys have lied. uh, Like friends and family of his. If they've listened. Sure, right? Like he cannot yeah. listen, but then yeah. all of a sudden it's like, right, right, hey, right. Uh, have you heard yeah, Sophia's well, new that, podcast, bro? He's, <laughs> like, he's told me that he will say, I don't want to hear it, please. Yeah. And, I, and I believe him. And then there are other guys that listen and, and they accept it. I'm like, mm-hmm. listen, if you're going to listen, it's just a part of my life and, and you got to just accept it. I mean, I've only listened to a couple episodes. Obviously, like it's what does Gluck vulgar. Luck mean, by the way? Oh. So the Gluck Luck 9000 is every man's kryptonite. Yes. Um, it's a double hand. No, it's a blowjob. Oh, it's a blowjob. It's, 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 oh, blow it's a blowjob. Listen, a, we always talk move. about it. I know it's, I think blowjobs are like very obvious. They come off very vulgar, but I think women- A um, lot of women don't know how to give a blowjob. I think, Bottom yeah. Line. And I think a lot of times girls are insecure about things is a lot of times it's because they're either not good at them or they don't really know how to do something. Yeah. So I um, think on this podcast, we're really good about, we give girls, and when I say detail by detail, yeah. I mean- Every step. step. Yeah, yeah, of what- how you can give your man the best blowjob. And, blow and I'll be honest. I, I not, I, it's a, it was, it was, it was a good takeaway. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. I did not know how to give a good blowjob until, until you met Alex. Until I met Alex. <laughs> yeah. Until about a year ago. <laughs> coach and him up, told, coach. <laughs> she told me about the gluck gluck and I was like, yeah. oh my God. And, and it, it changed no, the game. It is so it crazy did. to see the amount of girls that are like, I, my, my guy has never come from a blowjob or something. And after I did this, he was like, where has this mm-hmm. been my whole life? It's just something, and, ladies. You know, but we it's also, a soul snatcher, right? We also <laughs> are telling <laughs> soul snatcher. I mean, there's a good analogy. <laughs> like if you if you meet a girl who who knows uh, what she's who's doing. comfortable with herself yeah. and yeah. and 
it, 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 it gives a, you pause. Yeah, it's like, guy, listen, ladies, a, a blowjob to a guy is such a different experience than sex and they love them in different ways. And I think a lot of girls don't pleasure their man enough in like oral sex and guys don't pleasure girls enough in oral right. sex. But that's the same thing. A lot of guys don't know how to eat a girl out. Yeah. So we have the cooch gobbler combo that we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> the terms we have. Yeah. The, the gluck, gluck gobbler combo. But a lot of guys just go down there and they're like fishing yeah. around and they don't know what to do. And so we help guys We're telling too. them step by step again. What it makes do. sex more fun. It shouldn't be this like awkward. Let's just yeah. be a dead fish and enjoy I missionary had, for I an hour. One, I had my, a question on my questions with Nick. I was really proud of. I, sometimes I come up with a good analogy. Okay. okay. This girl uh, asked my my husband doesn't like to go down on me. Okay. Um, because he's, he, I don't, he didn't say, I don't, my boyfriend, I don't know if it was a married, I don't think it was yeah. a married person. Actually, I think this person kind of sounded young. Uh, my boyfriend doesn't want to go down on me because he had a bad experience with his first time going down on a girl. Yep. Bitch boy. Uh, but I always go down on him. And my response was, tell him that I go, no, what did I say? And I think this is true for the guys out there listening. I call them my 10 percenters. Oh. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get it up. Uh, we're going to get it up. And I said, I bet he didn't like his first sip of beer too, but now can't stop talking about his favorite IPA. Just tell him it works okay. the same way. And that is true because it is. especially for younger men out there, mm-hmm. uh, my first experience wasn't great. Of course Because not. I don't think younger people know how to groom themselves and yeah. take care of themselves. Right. And a vagina is confusing. It yeah. can be confusing. Yeah. And so when, you, you know, again, if you were able to get guidance from her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you find out, oh. like you really enjoy it because you know that she enjoys it, and yeah. there's a you know it's yeah totally. there's something about it's definitely sex. like it's like not listen I didn't like whiskey once and now, <laughs> at yeah. all I I drank vodka I like that and I, I put I put like limes in all through my twenties <laughs> yeah. and then one day I was like you know what I really fucking hated whiskey I hated it <laughs> okay. I fucking hated it and I was like I and literally now- I consciously thought I want to I. I want to drink like a man. Okay. I want to drink like a man. And so I'm like, nope, I'm going to fucking start sipping it. I'm yeah. just going to get used to it. And I'll be honest, now I really enjoy a glass of whiskey. I Boom. love it. I really enjoy Amazing. it. And it literally is the same way. But can you yeah. agree? It's how good of a feeling is it? And this is just a part of sex because it like it's so great when you can please your partner like that. Like when you see a girl getting off because of you, that's what guys, it's yeah. like, once you get it, girls, once you get how to give a good blow job, you're, it's an amazing feeling. Cause right. you're like, that's it's great that I'm getting- It's kind of a power move It too. is. So let me it ask is. you this. Another podcast, I, I, again, I voiced that I am surprised. And I said this too, is that I don't want to give myself too much credit because I, to me, I say like, I think it's ego okay. in the sense that if I had to choose between never getting off and always her getting off, I'll always choose the latter and I'll just take care of myself later okay. because my ego wants to be like, she, we're done. And she's just like, all right, I'm going to go tell all my friends about you. Like <laughs> yeah. my ego wants that. Right. Of so course. it's, I don't want to like say that I'm some overly amazing mm-hmm. guy. I'm right. just, you, you know, want a good dick review. We yeah. call them GDRs, a good dick <laughs> okay, review. Okay. That's what it is. Cause it's hard to recover from wanna, a bad dick review. I want to, yeah. I want a GDR. Sure. Yeah, but I mean, I also want to be a nice guy, but right. I, of, I course, wanna, of course, of course. I want to be a GDR. And so, <laughs> I am surprised when I hear stories from my women friends that it seems like a lot of guys don't do this. Yeah. And I am surprised by this. Now, why do you think that? Do you think it's, how can this get better? Do you think um, women should be more, almost higher expectations in bed? Like if a guy isn't used to, let's say a guy is the, I think I'm the man. I'm not going to ask questions. I'm yeah. not going to mm-hmm. like, what yeah. do you like? I, do you think women should be more like, hey, buddy, yeah. coach him, like oh. be more open and coaching him women, up and not in a masculine yeah. way, but right. letting him know what you, yeah. what you like? Women, women really need to start speaking up because if you're not, why do you expect them to know what you like, yeah. know what to do? We say all the time to be vulgar, sorry, but <sighs> guys can literally put their dick in a couch and cushion and, and come. come. Girls, it, it takes, takes a lot. so much it's for a girl not. to come. It's kind of true though. No, guys can um, kind of get off on anything. Girls, it's, it a takes couch so- couch cushion. Co- yeah, a grapefruit, couch <laughs> cushion, here. a banana peel, yeah. whatever you're into. <laughs> but <laughs> girls, okay. it's really hard. So to have a guy that is- um, is willing to like go there with you and learn. Yeah. It's great. But and, girls, and you need to know guy, that guys are 
so scared of looking like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So if you are more like, oh my God, babe, this is going to feel so good if you do this to me, then he's going to want to do it. Okay. It's not yeah. like you're not eating me outright. So don't right. ever go down on and me again. For, and no. if, a, if a girl is never speaking up, this guy is going to continue going <laughs> from girl to girl, just giving her the jackhammer, yeah. et cetera. You, be the and woman like, that's the change. Be the girl that tells him what to do <laughs> All right, so for the rest a, of the women yeah, out I, here. I, I think that's great. So what about the girl, the young woman who maybe it's her, she's in her early twenties. Her first couple boyfriends were the shitty boyfriends. Yeah. She's not even like, she doesn't really even know yet I what mean, she likes. Yeah, Girls, how do we, you know what I'm saying? How do, yeah. Because a, until she figures out what she likes, yeah. she can't coach him up. So many yeah. girls sit around waiting for like their prince charming and this guy that's going to come around and give them the best orgasm of their life and it's going to change their Vibrators, life. Vibrators, ladies. It's like, Talk girls, to your you need yeah. to put, like get in front of a mirror, look at your vagina, okay. yep. feel around. Yeah. Like, get some honestly, lube, get a vibrator and have some- And figure out no, what feels and, good. And I hate it because I know I, when I was younger, I was like so awkward when people would say that to me. <laughs> Girls, how are how are you going to know yeah. what it feels like to come if you don't make yourself do it? Right. How can he do it if you can't even do it? Yeah. Well, so I will girls say need guys to get, figure out pretty early. I, absolutely. Yeah, and I'm girls sure. don't. It's yeah. it's so yeah. weird how- um, Girls don't even look at their vagina. No, some girls don't even want to look down there. You should celebrate it. You should- right be comfortable with it. We sound have, this, we sound so, uh, we don't usually have conversations no, like this on Call Her Daddy, but, it, no, but, I'm but it's true. A lot of girls don't own a vibrator. They don't own lube and they ha don't have like time once a day or a week to just like yeah. go down, feel what's going on down yeah. there and make yourself, oh, you don't need a guy. Yeah. And then you're going to feel so much better when you are dur during sex. He's going to even enjoy it more because he's going to know, oh, right. this girl knows what she wants. She knows yeah. where her clit is I mean, and what to do with it. Isn't it the biggest turn on to make the girl, oh, is isn't that what turns you on? Like it's really hot yeah, when a girl sure, can is getting hot. off. Yeah. So girls, girls, go buy that go, vibrator, go baby. Someone. And listen, I know we're you know that maybe maybe it's not I don't know people will call it vulgar or whatever, but like you got to talk about it. You got to yeah. be open mm -hmm. and. Listen, I, we're all alive because our parents had sex. You're getting questions about sex. this in your podcast. I get them. I'm like, like, I get a lot of these questions on my Instagram when I do my questions with Nick. So the people are out there trying to figure it out. Yeah. And I think we just need to be more open about it. It's so, so true. Thanks for being so open. And I yeah. love I, I love some of these acronyms you guys have come up with. <laughs> Cooch Gobbler, Gluck Gluck. Uh, gluck. I, I GDR. Like GDR might GDR, be my favorite. <laughs> PNC, Post Nut Clarity. Oh my um, God. <laughs> are you guys up for answering a few fan questions? Of course. Yeah, yeah let's right. do it. What's your time with this will be fun. Yeah. Let's ask Nick your sexy questions. I'm Lily. Hi. Hi, Hi Lily. Lily. I'm Nick. This is Alex and Sophia. Hi. Hi. Uh, how can we help you, Lily? Okay. So um, a few, like, I guess at the start of the semester, I met this guy and I like thought he was cool, but like it wasn't anything. It was like a back burner crush. And then um, like, through Bumble and whatever, we started like actually talking. And I was like, okay, I actually like you. Like, you're really cool. And then um, was it St. Patrick's Day weekend? He came over Friday and Saturday, like made out and stuff and whatever. And like, I think it was even that Friday, like the first time we hung out one-on-one, -on -one, he like made it clear he wanted to get physical. And I was like- <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you should know. I've never like, no, like I haven't. Okay, you're a virgin. Okay. okay, okay, cool. At the time, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "That's fine, yeah." Like, let's like be on the same page about that. So then I thought about it a lot and whatever, and I decided like if I did it unceremoniously and like with him, like he's so hot, I want to write out the fact that he's into me, <laughs> <laughs> and um. Like, if I just did it quick and easy, like, it would be easier um, when it matters more. So, like, during that week, we did and whatever, and it was fine. Like, he was really sweet. I'm like, I don't regret it. It was good. But this might be, like, my middle school talking, but I don't, like, feel any closer to him. Sure. Yeah. And right. it's just, yeah, I don't right. know. I'm confused. Okay. So, your qu and so, just to summarize, your question is you're trying to kind of suss out how you feel about it and how like your, your feelings yeah. of having sex for the first time didn't, didn't maybe meet your expectations. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, I told myself like, it's not going to be a big deal. It's like whatever. And then after it happened, I was like, 
I don't feel any different. Sure. Yeah. Right. Well, I feel like you guys yeah. should take yeah. a lead no, on this one. I think that's, um, I've, I'm actually really impressed with what you had said about how you were like, I think it will be great then when I do, it does mean something, when I find someone that it's yeah. going to mean something with, it will be more enjoyable because you'll have experienced it and you know what to do almost. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of, I like commend you for that because a lot of girls um, put so much pressure on the first yeah. time that they freak out about it. I don't think you should be too hung up on the fact no. that you aren't feeling something because you didn't go into it. Like, I love right. this guy and I want something. I mean, I want to, I dare say, I think the first time is kind of a letdown for a lot of people. You're not Mine alone was. in that. Almost, Mine was completely a letdown. Almost I didn't on 99%. Even talk to yeah. It's, like, it's right. like, it's meant to be a letdown. It really is. So built it up. Really it's so built yeah. up. So mm -hmm. you, I don't think you should feel um, I think you're feeling what a lot of girls feel. It's like, wait, yeah. why am I not feeling these sparks? Yeah. Why am I not so excited? It's yeah. pretty normal. Yeah. I had the same thing. Absolutely. You're we're, you're one That's with right. all of us. And you know, sex doesn't <laughs> sex you. doesn't have to equal I am crazy in love about this yeah. guy. You know, every single time. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I, I totally agree. The only and the only does and the only thing I would add, putting in perspective too, is like I don't know your upbringing or like. The mm -hmm. first time having sex, there's so many variables about like religion or yeah. what your parents did. And your our parents are like kind of afraid that we don't want us, they don't want us to get pregnant or yeah, get a disease early course. on. So they're kind of scaring us about sex. Yeah. And then and then you build it up. And then not to I'm not saying sex isn't meaningful mm -hmm. or a big deal, but like it's especially the first time, it's probably you'll look yeah. back five or six years from now and just yeah. kind of be like whatever about it and right. kind of chuckle most yeah. likely. Yeah. Just know like we're all yeah. kind of with we're you all on in that the same boat. for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's a very normal thing the, you're feeling right the now. Very, yeah, it's a, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a very you're yes. You're doing just fine. Absolutely. You're doing great. Uh yeah, I wouldn't give him any uh if he's hot and you still want to hang out with him, but yeah. don't, uh, just cause he's your first doesn't make him special. <laughs> right. No, don't for force sure. anything. Yeah. If you're not into it, Absolutely. on to the next guy. He's just a boy. There'll be many. Uh-huh. Not to, I agree. Really, just in yeah. general. Yeah, you'll have no, your but, options. No, 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 but it's yeah. so true. Yeah. You'll find someone eventually that like, it probably will feel different, but yeah. the first time usually it's like, oh, right. that's it. You really? Will, I mean, I think you will have sex down the road where you do get the fireworks and the feeling that yeah. you were thinking you would have. Well, you I, for sure. That's true. I mean, even for me, I, I when I lost my virginity is with this girl, like it, I thought, like I definitely thought I was in love with her and it was very, it was, you know, I was 17 and very high schoolish. Yep. And then after that, and I, I grew up very Catholic. I had a lot of Catholic guilt about mm -hmm. it and I don't like process it. And then I didn't have, se and then I met my first girlfriend, the first girl I fell in love with. And she was a virgin at the time. Okay. And so like, you know, I was, I was great. Well, you know, I will wait, you know? Right. And so I didn't have sex for a year and a half and we waited and waited, but I almost felt like I lost my virginity twice to your yeah. point oh, where it yeah. was like, yeah. the first time I had sex was this kind of weird experience. I didn't know what to process it and yeah. just kind of happened. And then the second time was with someone I actually, at that time I loved, we had been dating for yeah. a year and a half. And then the first time was still weird and awkward. Mm -hmm. But when we started like having sex on a regular basis, it was a very different yeah. experience yeah. than the very first time. It changes a yeah. lot. So like yes. keep your head up, it's gonna get better. Don't worry about it. We're all yeah. in the same boat. Yeah, for sure. Or were, I should say. Well, yeah. All right. All right. Thank well, you. hopefully that helped. Yes. Nice yeah, meeting you. Thing. All right. Take care. Well, hi, Amanda. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Uh, this is Alex and Sophia hi. with me today. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Um, how can we help you, Amanda? So I'm calling um, because I am online dating. Um, I met a guy, I want to say it was yeah, two weeks ago now. So we were Skyping or talking on Hinge. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it went really well. We were talking for a couple of days. We went to go on a date. So we went out. It was on a Wednesday. We went bowling. Everything went great. Um, the next day, he was texting me like, oh, I had such a good time with you. Our connection's great. I can't see where, where things go. This was on a Wednesday. So from Wednesday to Sunday, um, we went on three dates. Texting, everything was great. He I'm so excited about it. Then on a, a Monday morning, he texted me and told me he was too scared to date. Our connection scared him, but he sees a future with me, and he just needs he needs time by himself. He doesn't know what to do. Mm. And so that was on a Monday morning, and then I didn't hear from him until Wednesday again, and then he just said he has to focus on his job right now. So my question is, what the hell? <laughs> can I Why ask you a TMI, but can I ask you if anything like physical happened? 
Nothing. Did you no. guys no. not no making out? Nothing. Nope. No kiss. A kiss? Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, actually. So I'm sorry to let me that out. Okay. The sexual chemistry was <laughs> off the charts. Like I've never had something like that with somebody before. Okay. okay so you made out. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, you do you want me to be really honest? From a male yeah. perspective, yeah. Okay. My, my, not that into me. my guess is he's just not that into you, um, and okay. he's trying to let you off mm-hmm. easy, easy and nicely. And uh, while the sexual chemistry feels good for you, and not to say that it wasn't for him, yeah. but mm-hmm. for whatever reason, he doesn't want to hang out again. Right. Um, okay. And I only say that because instead of trying, the problem is, and I say this too, it's like. I'm sure his intentions are to let you off easy, but I really, sometimes I do hate it when people are like, well, I feel bad. So I just, I want to let him off easy. And actually it's a very selfish thing for people to do sometimes is to let people off easy. Yep. Don't be a dick. Yeah. Right. Don't be extra mean and don't Mm -hmm. lean in if you don't have to, but just be as direct and honest as possible. Because in your case, here you are, you had this nice time, you enjoyed it. And instead of just, saying, Hey, listen, I had a a nice time, but like, I just don't see a future. He's saying like, I really liked you. You're great. He's validating all the things that you thought. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's just like, I'm really busy with work, suggesting that at some point he might not be at some point he might settle into his job and there's Mm -hmm. this chance. Meanwhile, you, anyone, anyone in your position might like, well, I had this great time with this guy I had sexual chemistry with, and I haven't had it before. It's a very selfish thing sometimes to let yeah. people off easily because you people are going to hear what they want to hear. And I think in this case, he's he's lying. Um, yeah, he's not that busy at work. Yeah. He, he busy people make time for for people mm-hmm. they want to make time for. Uh, and instead of just kind of being nice, I mean, instead of just being direct, He's, he's really, he's being selfish because yeah. he can't handle yeah. being honest and at the risk of hurting your feelings. I also yeah. think there's always a chance. And this is just because sometimes people are scumbags, but I've actually seen a lot of times in these situations, he may have a girlfriend. I was thinking the exact and same thing. And a lot thing. of times they'll go on dates. They have yes. hinge profiles and he went to go on a date with you, hoping maybe there would be more, maybe sex. And since yeah. you weren't putting out because you were in it for the right reasons and you're trying to find someone as a partner, he realized it wasn't going to go yeah. anywhere. So he's using the work thing as an excuse. That- yeah. My, my red flag went up too. I automatically thought, I think he might, may have a girlfriend. A girlfriend. Did that happen? That, so much. That yes. happens a lot. So much. Yeah. yeah. Man, so I know it kind of sucks because mm-hmm. you did have that connection. Um, but that's one of those things. There are so many guys out there, right. girl, like it, yeah. well, you just rebound right away and just know like you are percent. beautiful and you're going to be fine. Yeah. Like his love. Girl, Thank you. Let him work on his girl work power. or whatever he's yeah, working let on. Him, let him go on a know better that now you're busy yeah. and that's that. Yes. I can assure you nothing will bother him more oh, than yeah. you not giving a shit yeah. yep. about, you're like, great. I'm totally. trying not to give a shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, and, get let, back yeah. on hinge and go wild. You're okay to give a shit. Just never let him know. Yeah. Yep. Never, sure. okay. never For check yeah. in. Turn your red receipts on. And if he texts you, you yes. leave him on the red. red. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on a date. Yes. Talk to you later. Yeah, do okay. that. Actually do that. <laughs> well, turn your, yeah. turn, turn yeah. your read receipts on yeah. mm-hmm. and then let him see that you saw it. But keep your head reply. up because it happens to and, all of us. And he may have a girlfriend. Yeah. So. Screw him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck him. We're over it. <laughs> We're over right. it. Definitely don't wait around. <laughs> yeah. I hope okay. that helped. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're going to be great. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. So you notice a lot of guys who are, I would call it like, um, they're like shopping around for a new house, but not really to sell their, you know. Oh yeah, there's like, so many guys on dating apps. I it's have guys message me on dating apps, apps and I go is to their Instagram. Is it for sex or is it for like, maybe they're for trying sex. to, re- like they're trying to be a monkey going from one vine to another. Uh, both, it can be both. I actually I had- mostly sex But though. we've had uh, girls write in and say that they were dating a guy and it took them so long to realize that he had a full blown other relationship with another girl. How are guys I don't caught? get it. I don't I get don't. it. So you're crazy. putting it out there that you're what so happens. Insane. And I'll tell girls this just in case if this ever happens to you. Um, a lot of times what happens is usually the girl will find out about the other girlfriend and what the guy will do is he'll manipulate you and he'll say, oh my God, she's a crazy ex hookup. I used to hook up with block her. If a guy ever tells you to block a girl, that is the first red flag Very that fun. he's still having sex with her and he's still talking to her and he's trying to hide you guys from each other. 
That's so fucked up, but yeah. it's the truth. So great that's takeaway. just, yeah, there no, you go. That's a great takeaway. Yeah. Right. I don't. Or if the guy is constantly saying, my ex is so crazy all the time. That's a huge red flag. That's like talking yeah. bad about your employer. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. always be on the lookout, ladies. Yes. But I mean, what if you do, have, you could have a crazy ex, but just try to. Of course. Right. But I don't. Yeah. But sometimes I think do. if you did have a really crazy ex, I think because I've had one. That's something a lot of, well, I guess everyone handles it differently. Well, you but can have a crazy ex and have them not be an issue. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Because I've had people who like in like, but it's not like so crazy that they're reaching out. Right. And you're involved. like trashing them. Yeah. They're no. not trashing them. So, but like also, yeah, the block her. Block her. That's a huge, huge. red flag. Huge. Never block her. Ask yeah. for pics and evidence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> have I, in ha fact, reach out to her. Have you been cheated yeah. on? I have. Yeah. 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 And, and what was your, what, what, did, what was your, how do you feel about that now? Like you're honest about it. I feel like a lot of people, um, I argue, people never want to admit to oh it. Oh my God. No. Yeah. Um, I was definitely hurt. I think I, and I think a lot of times for me, it's like an ego thing. It's like, totally. oh mm -hmm. shit. I got right. me. Right. Really? 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 Yeah. Really? Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I think it's also like, I do think a lot of times, unless you're married, there's just something right. I've learned growing up. It's like people are going to cheat right. and it yeah. just happens and you got to just bite the bullet and yeah. move on. I mean, my, I was cheated on in high school and sure. when it happened, my world had crumbled yeah. around me and yeah. I like, couldn't go to school. <laughs> now in hindsight, it's kind of like, Come on. Like you were yeah. 16. It, it sucks. You can, yeah. It sucks. Well, it is heartbreaking. It's a brutal ego trip. But I think most of the time the people cheating, it's their issue and you have to realize that. It's like, it usually has Not nothing to do. Not most of the time. It's 100% right. yeah. Yeah. Their, their issue. Because even if you are, in, in our, if you are a shitty spouse yeah. who like, they well, still yeah. don't have to cheat. They exactly. can break up with you yeah. Yeah. and Absolutely. replace your shitty yeah. ass. Right. Uh, before they cheat. So it is 100% them. But yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's, but it, to your point, like it's the, the you got to learn about the red flags. Absolutely. So the next time when he's telling you to block someone. Yeah. yeah. You know. And also I think girls have like a really bad tendency of when the breakup happens, girls take to social media and try to post all the quotes like Khloe Kardashian Don't right now. We're shit. all like, oh please stop God. Khloe. Someone take Khloe Kardashian's phone away right. from her. For our 10 percenters out there. Yeah. What are some red signs that she's cheating on you? Oh my God, we have. Um, so, so many. If she's not having sex with you. Yeah, yeah that's a good. Yeah, if, if she's, she's avoiding sex. But not sure. because she's necessarily getting it from somewhere else. But a lot of times people will feel a lot of guilt. Yeah. And so they don't want to be having sex with their partner. For sure. I think also, that's a huge one. I think obviously, I mean, the phone, it's just too easy to catch someone. If you don't know the person's name that looks like um, like Rebecca in her phone, but really it's changed from Rob. Like people change contact right. names all the time in their phone. So you go in my phone and right. who's Rebecca? I've never heard you have a friend I mean, Rebecca, but it's really this guy Rob yeah. that I'm having sex he, with and you don't know about it. So you getting, see Rebecca, but you've never heard of Rebecca. Right, that's a red right. flag. That's a red, for flag. Sure. red flag. Also just being sketchy about your phone. Yeah. Um, if they won't let you see their phone for sure. That's huge. Mm -hmm. And people are getting so creative these days with cheating. We talk oh my about God. it on the podcast. The notes application. Get the effort. The what? The effort. Because people cheating. want their cake and they want to eat it too. Yeah. I think a lot of younger people too. It's like in college, they're like, wait, I, well, I like her, but I want the other girl at the other school. Be fucking single people. Go uh, out there. Yeah. Have some fun. But don't lie. And I don't, see, I, I truly, I've, I honestly, I've, I don't get it because there's yeah. so much effort that goes into cheating. But I think cheating. it's so easy to cheat in 2019 as screwed yeah. up as it is. We have an episode, totally. how to cheat or how to catch a cheater. <laughs> Did you know that in your phone, the notes application. Yeah. You can talk to people on through your notes yeah. application. So like I could share my notes with you and uh -huh. you could edit my notes. So if you look at, and it says my grocery list okay. mm -hmm. and like tuna is code for pussy. And it's like, I want more tuna. <laughs> and you could be like, meet me in aisle, whatever. And so it looks like I'm just editing my grocery list, but yeah. you're editing my notes. Yes. So if you go into your significant other's notes and you see like confusing where it's them messaging each other in notes. There's the so notes many application. I so know. I just don't ways. understand the effort. It's so yeah. much effort. Oh, a red flag also is WhatsApp. That is like, everyone's like, oh, it's my Everyone international cousin I talked to. No. Oh, really? All, all your, your worldwide yeah, friends? All the right. hoes live in WhatsApp. I so think, be careful about that. I think also app. checking Uber. Uber is huge. huge. Yep. That's a huge one. Yep. Look if at they, the timestamps. Right. It's legally, um, they Uber cannot um, delete, delete any history. of the history. It's like legally you can't do it. So there's always, you can't delete your history. So I got a question. If, if, if all these people are cheating, how did like, 
I mean, truthfully, how do you like, cause no one wants to be cheated on. Right. And a lot of people go in like, well, I got cheated on. And I would always tell people, well, listen, your last, your new partner isn't your last partner. So you can't go in with baggage. Yep. Mm-hmm. But if all these people are cheating, how can you like pre-screen? Because not everyone's cheating. Like I, yeah, there's no, a, of course not. Like where, where, like who are the people who are constantly cheating and fuck the WhatsApp and the notes or whatever? Like I put a lot of pressure. If I'm going to go into a relationship, I wait it out to commit to someone. Like I make it so much effort for them to be like, they've got to want this so bad for us to get into it because then it's like, I feel like a lot of fuck boys wouldn't stick around. I I would agree. I I have some, I know some guys and you know, they're like, casual buddies and I'm kind of like you're a terrible person because I know they have their girlfriends yep. and then they have their side girls yep. and I always be like I don't understand the effort man and it, clearly, two side it all girls. comes down to like their inability to be alone yep. they're just mm-hmm. needy men yep. who can't be alone and I think that's a great point of if you meet a guy and you think like, maybe like he, he roams in certain circles and you're just like I don't know yeah. If his friends are cheating, right. doesn't necessarily make him cheater, but definitely a red flag. Right. Well, he's a fuck boy until He'll proven otherwise. otherwise. That's but like drag it, it out. Make yeah, sure that he really like, and when you do get in a relationship early, even though it's easy to like honeymoon phase it and always hang out, have your space. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I got my shit. I have my friends. For yeah, sure. we're dating now and I really like you, but we don't need to hang out every day, bro. Because yeah. the couples that are so up each other's asses and then it's like the minute the guy goes away on a they trip, he cheats. Right. Yeah. Because it's needs- like, oh my God, I've never been alone yeah. and now I'm alone and now I need another girl. Yeah. Totally. So That's- independence is key. Well, Absolutely. I, I agree. Well, ladies, this has been really fun. Yeah. I, thanks I, for having I, us. I really appreciate you coming on. Um, I think we should just keep uh, people in general should be talk, talking about this stuff. Uh, you again have your podcast. Why don't you guys plug it here? Where can people yeah. find you? You can find us on iTunes and really anywhere you can listen to Spotify, podcasts, Spotify yeah. Google Play, Same Call here. Her Daddy. Call um, Her yeah. Daddy. Call Her Daddy, guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. go listen if you're after, trying to trap a fuck boy. After you listen to this show. Yeah, yeah. first listen to Nick, then we come over to come out on, on Wednesdays. There's, there's, mm-hmm. there's seven days in the week. People. And then come on over to our Instagram. Yeah. We, yeah, we get Instagram. crazy. Call Her Daddy. Call Her Daddy Instagram. Instagram. Uh, I've noticed that your Call Her Daddy Instagram is private. Yeah, we actually we were got shut that. down. <laughs> we we were posting some um, raunchy content in the beginning, so yeah. we got shut down a couple times. Okay. So we decided to go on private. Yeah. How does that work? If you're on private, you don't get shut down? Yeah. Yeah, not as easily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we're locked in there. Yep. So we can't get shut uh, down. I, sometimes I'll see people with a following are private, and I often wonder. Why or how's that? Yeah. Is it like yeah. ours personally forbidden was just, fruit? No, so you, yeah. ooh, gotta, no yeah. ours was personally just because we were like, we cannot yeah. get shut down again. And yeah. you opted to make it private as opposed to reassessing your content? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what we do with the podcast as well. We just tell it as it is. And mm-hmm. so we don't want to adjust our content just for Instagram's well, guidelines. I'll tell you yeah. what, you are going to get a follow request after this show. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, everyone's God. like, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. Come on over. All right. Well, again, yes. thank you, ladies. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so um, much. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Thanks for us. listening, guys. Uh, if, again, if you I- enjoy listening to the show, uh, we would love your reviews on iTunes. And more importantly, your five stars. Five Sometimes stars, I ask baby. for reviews and it's like, oh, really? You would like my feedback? Yeah. Well, let me give it. Only if it's five stars. If not, get yeah. out of here. Yeah. I mean, listen, you, you can give me critical feedback. Yeah. But preferably five stars. I still five want five. the five stars. Yeah. You know, it'd be like, um, listen, you asked, <laughs> literally, I've, I've read reviews be like, well, thank you for asking for my opinion. <laughs> and it's great. Yeah. But you could change X, Y, Z. And for you're that, like, three stars. Oh, you're like, no. you're like, put like that really? in an email. Did you really put that in an email, give me five stars yeah. and three stars in the email. You sti- like, oh, it hurts. Anyways, it hurts. It hurts. Five stars, guys. Only if it's five stars. We're all a bunch of insecure mm-hmm. people. We are. Come so, on, hype us yeah. up. Anyways, thanks for listening, guys. Have a great week. See you next week. <laughs>